Let's go, who's up next? All right, good. We've solved that problem. See, guys, just like <laughs> launch consoles. Nothing is easy ever. Let me know when you're ready, Donnie. Go. Welcome, Internet, to the Xbox Empire podcast, part of the Play Some Video Games network of podcasts. I'm Elaine. Donnie's here. Donnie's always here. And we have, we're continuing our November guest lineup with Dealer from the RDX podcast. What's up, dude? <laughs> there you go. Hey, hey, it's point like up. Groundhog Day, but with no yeah. animals. <laughs> um, well, Donnie, thank you for, for making us do this again. And uh, thanks to everyone that, that actually is showing up instead of playing their games right now for some reason. I do appreciate it. Uh, if you, you know, share it out. Tell a friend. Thank you. Uh, and I'm sure it's going to be fun. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. We're fun. We're a barrel of monkeys. That's all I got. I don't know what else to mm. equate us with. Maybe a barrel of angry ferrets is more appropriate <laughs> for me. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong, Donnie. That's that's. Could you imagine close. an actual barrel of ferrets? Like Oof. a wet barrel of angry ferrets. Just everything would die. Right, exactly. That's my that's, whole that's mood. That's Twitter. It's yeah. That's pretty much my online. And all the ferrets would pull out little tiny vape pins and blow it into their <laughs> Xboxes. And they vape into their tiny Xboxes. <laughs> that is a thing. And then they post it to Twitter, and, and then they would go. Would they would whisper softly. So I blame uh, blame the Xbox <laughs> Drive for our our little soft reboot. I had to change some audio settings and forgot to change them back. So that's on me. I'll let everybody know. It's not Elaine. That's on me. Elaine doesn't get to touch the knobs and dials. She uh, breaks things like angry ferrets. Again, dealer, I'm really excited to have you here. Um, I found your show uh, early this year. Uh, so maybe like February, I think. February, oh, really? March. Yeah. And I found your show um, through Rand and Jez. And I always listen to their show. And I remember they, were, uh, they had dropped you. Um, they had dropped as a guest, I think, on one of your shows. And they dropped your name. And I went and searched it. I've never stopped listening to it. I listen to it every I listen to it live. Every oh, week man. I was there. I was one of, your, uh, one of your five thousand <laughs> folks, you know, that piled in. I you every poor, event. Poor soul. Oh, it's it's the best, man. You you it's do a not great, for children, great job. Though. So you know, <laughs> oh, don't not- listen to it while on the playground. Yeah, yo, I have true. to. I do. I do put headphones on with yours because I work in my like dining room right now, and I I've spent the last week like kind of working through oh, your your videos, and I was like, I want to put headphones on for this one, but I appreciate it. Look. Uh, so. I mean, honestly, some of our shows are trash. We just try to have fun, and sometimes yeah. we don't even manage that. But we do have a lot of cool people that show up, and um, yeah, we're thankful. Yeah, I, I I wanted to tell you that I I really appreciate a lot of your personal information that you bring to the show. Um, kind of your candidness on, especially a lot of the tech and stuff like that. I always find you as an insightful resource, and a lot of times hearing you explain mesh shaders and variable refresh rates and, and GPUs and graphics and, and scaling and things like that. It, it helps me as I kind of form my own opinions and do my own research. Yeah. So. yeah I always tell everybody like, Hey, this is my thoughts. Uh, you know, be sure and go uh, pray to Santa Claus about what you might want to know besides this. And uh, yeah, there's definitely more than one resource, but as you guys know, if you listen, we've been pretty uh, darn accurate on everything. I just said, sure. darn. Well, I, we oh, really no, are, you're know, fine. Uh, I'm we've been pretty so pretty accurate on a lot of this stuff. And, um, you know, yeah. I mean, again, this console's out. And as I said on my last show, I, I don't expect the full potential. Actually, Phil just said this in an interview, which is so funny. Um, I don't expect the full potential from the box for, for a little bit. There's actually only one. Not many people know this, right? There's only one game right now that uses the new Xbox development kit uh, mm-hmm. that actually is made for these new systems, right? Uh, only one. And the rest of these guys are getting it out and they're making it work. And uh, you got to applaud the developers during the pandemic for making yeah. something like Valhalla look as good as it does, run like it does. Uh, the box doesn't really have a reason for games not to run at these frame rates and stuff now. But I mean, uh, I'm just glad we're at that spot where where games are looking like this. And and we're not even talking about games like Borderlands 3 and the the patch on that game really brought down a lot of the PC assets and all the particles and you know it's impressive. Yeah, I was I watched one of your videos about The Witcher 3. Cause was, I mean, that's one of my those games that I want to play again. Give me a reason, you know. And I was mm-hmm. like, man, it's really impressive what this thing can do with just 
just raw horsepower thrown yeah. at it instead of actually being patched. I think that's probably early next year. They want, they're promising me ray tracing. So we'll <laughs> see, but they're promising me a lot of things. They've promised yeah. me a lot of things over the years. So, mm-hmm. uh, but I mean, I'm excited. It's out, man. I don't yeah. even have one yet. And I'm excited. I'd be excited <laughs> if YouTube would have rendered that or processed that video 4k. I checked mm-hmm. and I was like, no, YouTube just keeps <laughs> sticking yeah. knives in your toes. Man. But now apparently YouTube's down or it's been down for a couple yeah. hours. Now or something. Oh, good. Yeah. Uh, YouTube has AIDS. I'm sorry. I have to say it. So we'll see. Hopefully it can recover magic Johnson style. I, yeah, I checked I on really uh, YouTube music's down and uh, stadia was not going through either. They so. opened the barrel of angry ferrets. They're having, they some, they're having some issues tonight. And those ferrets went and chewed on the cords and the 4K <laughs> processing cords. And my review, I spent 11 hours on it. Still 1080p, 4 meg per second. That's what cool, it looks you like. rendered oh. that all in 4K, Great. but yeah. cool. I think I think, I think think YouTube said, what? A new console? We don't mm. like that. Stadia's mm. doing horribly. Let's go ahead and stop that processing right about at 720i. And it looks like trash. Don't buy one. Don't worry about it. Yeah. I'm curious to see if they get their stuff t- together once they bring YouTube back up, but I doubt it. Hopefully. I don't have hope. We'll see. I have little hope. <laughs> we'll so see. you guys both have Xboxes. Well, Dealer, you've had one for a few weeks, right? You've been sitting oh, on this thing. Ooh. Yeah, like three or four weeks now. Oh, are you just, have you just become one with it at this point? The controller is molded into your uh, hand. Man, I wish I didn't have uh, any other life but this, <laughs> but. <laughs> yeah, um, honestly, I, I was telling someone in DMs. I think it was uh, my one of my uh, one of my buddies, Dark CMF. I do consider us buddies, Dark CMF, by the way. Uh, that there's a positive to not getting this stuff early. Like we dealt with a lot of crap, and it was very underwhelming for a while because you are limited to what is available to you. And if I were Xbox, I would have handled that a little better. At least let people know, like, hey, we're not here. Not gonna be able to play shit. Good luck. Like, (laughs) I had some games available. Uh, The first party stuff was great, um, but truly software was coming in really hot. Like, Watch Dogs, um, they let us play the unenhanced 1X version for days and days and didn't even tell us that it wasn't enhanced. And we were like, I don't think this is ray tracing, you know, because I had some experience with it, but they got some really convincing SSR in there, and you could tell that it wasn't real-time ray tracing. Um, yeah, they just didn't didn't do a lot of that. But they did, you know, again, I didn't request the box. I didn't, you know, I got the email from them. I was like, that's amazing. Like, I'm thankful as hell. I didn't expect nothing. I don't expect nothing. So it, it's kind of, I'd be a fuck face to, to complain about it, right? But I would have done things differently. Um, sure. And just for the sake of my own brand as PR, would have told you, hey, that's not Watch Dogs Enhanced. And actually, they ended up not letting you play that. They actually disabled it. Or it would say this game isn't compatible uh, a few days later. And then you couldn't play it again until like the 8th or the 9th, like yeah. a few days ago. Yep. Oh, wow. Yep. So and they had to watch Dogs it. experience. It mm-hmm. was Sunday. Sunday, I think, was when they put up the patch with the ray tracing. And the first patch was, or, I'm sorry, I, I should have mentioned, I got my console early, Elaine. I what know. You, Walmart came through. I ordered on Walmart. <laughs> Oh my! I was one of those came folks. Through early. Walmart uh, came to my PS5 pre-order, so that's oof. not cool. Mm. I gotta weigh my options here. I actually, this is, my little funny anecdote is, um, I ordered a bag of tennis balls for Flea, like forty tennis balls. So I was expecting a package that Friday. So I got this box dropped off by my son, and I'm just sitting on the couch next to it for hours, like watching the office, thinking it's a box of tennis balls. I go to lift it up, and it's, it's heavy. It's like, what is this? I open up and it, lo and behold, it is my Xbox. It's just here on Friday. I didn't get a shipping notification. I didn't have to sign for it. They just left it on my on my doorstep. And put it in a box that had carrots on it for some reason. Yeah, they just, that was all it was. And um, it was it was interesting because I, I hooked it up and I couldn't use it. It didn't have the the patch that you could update. You know, mm-hmm. I think they were, were holding it. So I called Xbox. And I was like, hey, I just want to make sure there's nothing wrong with my console. It came early. Walmart just delivered it. And uh, I was like, you know, I was basically trying to, you know, be sweet mm-hmm. to them. I was like, I don't <laughs> want to just sit here and look at it for four days. Turn yeah. it on. And uh, they did. They were like, yeah, give us your serial number. Give us about 20 wow. minutes. Oh, That's they wiped it. Yeah, That's they let me, they cool. left, they did you left play, me on did hold. You do a little podcasting. Play? I run a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it was so, nudge, nudge. It was like so funny. The, the customer uh, rep on the phone was like, you know, you can talk about this on social media to your friends. And I, and I, this is what I said to him on the phone. I was like, like, are you sure? Because apparently they're breaking the hell out of all. You know, I don't know about that. Well, I, I, I told him, I was like, I think you guys have that covered. 
It's like they, yeah. they've been talking about this thing for months. Yeah, and everybody Bart has on one. Fifth, so you're good. Um, but yeah, so they, they did whitelist me and I could get in and start downloading, start setting up. And uh, Watch Dogs was the first game that I had access to because Valhalla hadn't released yet. And I so tried hang to, on, Donnie. Yeah. You had this thing the whole time and you reach out to me and be like, man, this is so cool. <laughs> Donnie <laughs> tried to hide it from everybody. Mine didn't ship. <laughs> so I, that's fine. So interesting dealers i'm having some i'm having some issues actually that i want oh, to get yeah. to you but that. yeah yeah um but but watchdogs they released the patch for watchdogs i saw tom warren at the verge he's like we got watchdogs it's got ray tracing i go and immediately download it and the game crashes <laughs> every <laughs> five seconds after you start it like this patch wow. is severely broken Trash. and uh and and he just he tweeted about 30 minutes later he's like they're aware it's it's completely effed okay. don't don't do it. Don't so do it. Uh, it's freaking your consoles. It's bursting their flames. Like, <laughs> well, I could have started with that. Like, more. Some, somehow, Watch Dogs is making it vape. It's very impressive. It's actually. it's crazy. Oh, yeah, man. it's hackers. It's hackers. That's that's it's how true. it works. Um, Talking about branding. So but you could try Horizon Four if you were in like the preview hub, whatever the hell they're calling mm-hmm. it now, and then uh, Sea of Thieves, uh, Sea of Trash, and then Gears Five. I love that. Um, they looked really good and they were well patched. I Gears think. 5, yeah, Gears 5 looks amazing. I've heard good things about Gears 5. Man, the, Elaine, it's almost like you don't have one. Oh, 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 when did you say you get one? When did you say you get one? So, I get mine tomorrow. So, here's what happened I had an order in with Amazon and one with Target because Target doesn't ship till the thing comes out. That's the way they handle stuff. So they're like, ah, you'll get it whenever we decide. That's that our, yeah, which is nonsense. Like, you're a Target, you're you're you've got the bullseye of doom you can't get me this console the bullseye of doom the bullseye of doom it's aimed so, at your wallet those prices are trash oh, so amazon emails me the day before release at like 5 p.m on monday and they're like yeah so here's the deal um we don't have enough consoles and we'll get you one by 12 31. that's six weeks bro <laughs> like what <laughs> uh, so i was like fine and then target shipped it two hours after that i'm like well i get wow. it thursday so but man i was bummed I was mm. a little bummed because yeah, you know it does like, suck. I'm giving you a hard time, but I know that really sucks. Yeah, no, I know you're just like, come on, this is all in fun. I can handle it. I can hang. I deal with Donnie every week. So. My my hot take. I've got a. I think I have a big hot take. My hot take is that I'm not exactly sure that I'm like it really enamored with ray tracing because of Watch Dogs. It's got ray tracing. It's, oh, hang on a second. Wait till wait till Call of Duty. It comes out of the air. I was gonna say that I I like what Watch Dogs has done in the videos I've seen, where you can see the actual combat happening and like window when reflections. I, first, I like that. When I first I booted up and started playing, and I was like, oh, I get it, ray tracing. Yeah, I can see the the <laughs> reflection in the building. But yeah. here's the thing: I kept playing it for like four hours, and deal. I mean, I'd, I'd love to know your thoughts. There is ray tracing everywhere the entire yeah. game is littered in puddles in windows in cars in car doors i mean it's like the entire screen is reflective and shiny it's like a house of mirrors and i i my i only noticed it because you know like you watch the digital foundry videos you listen to the dealer and ran and everybody talk about all the different enhancements it's like you want to notice it but it was one of those things that once i noticed it i couldn't stop it never <laughs> faded into the game. It was just constantly there. And uh, the the anecdote that I shared was, you remember like when PowerPoint first allowed people to have like animated and sounds on like bullet points, and then everybody started doing it's it and it got annoying. It hard is what you're saying. That's how I feel. I was just like, why is everything slathered in in puddles in in rain? Like, why is it everything is soaked? It's it's that it's that UK life, man. I guess so. I, Over there, it's always rainy. I was just like, show a little restraint. <laughs> like, I, can we tell yeah, it back? I, some I don't think they can show restraint though, I, because I think they're trying they can... to accurately simulate like what it would look like <laughs> if everything were constantly covered in Vaseline, right? <laughs> that's that's it. <laughs> that's a really gross. Uh, but well, very, I mean, whoa, you had to think it. They're not me. I mean, I just like to, you know. I'm just saying, like, it is You're not wrong. Exaggerated. It is the first iteration as well. Like, keep of course, this in mind. yeah. So. I'm more impressed by something like Valhalla. I just got to the the off the snow map, by the way. It's so uh, and good the frame rate in that game and the way that game looks is, is more impressive, way more than Watch Dogs, yes. because again, SSR, SSR, which I explained in my Watch Dogs retracing video, it, it's gotten so good at faking reflections that you know I feel like I've seen most of this before. Yeah, and it's very particular yeah. situations, but I think a war game would really show off best, like Battlefield comes out next year. 
um, where you're going to really see like, you know, explosions reflecting off cars next to you or, you know, grenades exploding. And you see it all in the puddles and all this crap that you're going to see while you're in combat. But watch dogs. You got a cell phone in your hand. That's about what you've seen in the reflection. Yeah. So it's yeah. not as um, game changing, I would say, whereas frame rate in watch dogs would have been more impressive to me. That was the other possible. Thing. They, I think they just decided not to let people do it because they wanted people to buy the damn game for the ray tracing, and it's working. I think it's the most bought game on, on Xbox right now. That makes sense. Really? That's interesting to hear. Yeah. I mean, there's so many reflections in London. There's so. no there's no performance mode. There's no turning it off. You will play yeah. at 4K 30 with ray tracing, and that's it. Does Valhalla work the same way, or does Valhalla give you an option? No, there's no, there's no option. They yeah. want, right, you, so play it. Is just they want you to play with them frames the way that this is okay. this is next gen. Like before, you okay. could not have, and and I don't think that game is native 4K, right? You yeah. know, Ubisoft they're reprojecting everything and all this crap, yeah. which is fine. It looks amazing. I don't even care. I wanted that frame rate. It's possible, and the fact that it's there in a, a big open world like that, that is next gen. That is finally we've we've hit the PC space, but in a console, and I've noticed the frame rate is there in a lot of games now, which is great. It's amazing. Um, but uh, at the end of the day, Watch Dogs is probably one of the only ones I can think of that is not doubling the frame rate at the very least. And that's unfortunate. Hmm. I mean, that thing that thing has had trouble just getting out the door. Yeah. You know, like they, that got hit with so many delays and then they pushed it into this launch window and then it's they're putting it up against their other big title. It's like, mm, hmm. like you just wanted it to be really shiny for this launch. And I mean, I, <laughs> I know, know people have different styles, so. but uh, yeah, let's just let's keep it rolling here with the Valhalla thing, because I played it. And I am eight, ten hours in, Elaine. The moment I started playing, I haven't really put it down. Uh, I'm hit or miss on Assassin's Creed stuff. And I got to tell you, I love it. I'm very it's, excited. It's real I'm good. I'm very excited it's, about uh, that game. Here's the thing about the frame rate. Um, I have Series S that I bought for Jack as well, my son. And we put it up there. Valhalla looks and plays great on Series S too. It runs at 30 though, right? Um, that's probably right. Yeah. It, mm. But it, it looks tremendous. Like, um, mm. so there's a noticeable hit. We tested it. We're we're testing everything. I'm putting every game that I can possibly think of on the Series S to see what happens. There's a huge hit on NBA 2K on Series S. It looks really? kind. Of, it looks worse than One X, in in my opinion. Um, mm -hmm. It's just it's just a softer image, and it doesn't seem like to have like the you know like the floor isn't as vibrant. Doesn't have like the reflections you know of the lights and everything. It just it's a softer put. It's still fine. It's I'm not here to tell I'm you it's bad. Test that. I get I get my S from like on the 17th, I think. Yeah. I'd, oh, I'd love to see you test. Yeah, I mean, because I was putting up, and this is just me eyeballing. I'm not doing pixel counts or anything. This is just me eyeballing. But, like, Madden looked a little bit softer. But Fortnite looked great, actually, on Series S. Uh, but now, Valhalla, when you're talking about softness, though, are you running it on an HDR display? Are you yeah. running on the same TV? Yep. What are you running it's not, it's a It's a slightly different TV, It is a, but it is a 4K HDR TV. It's not now. I bought, I bought one of the real new LG HDR Nano though? cells. It could look soft because it's got like some dithered HDR, which mm. makes the image, it washes it all out, makes it all look soft. That's kind of what it looks like. So maybe it is. I didn't. I didn't check. I didn't check. So it. try disabling the HDR on the S and see if that brings brings those colors, brings it back to life a little bit. Okay, I would definitely and do then that. Let, let us know your thoughts next week, Donnie. But Valhalla, man, on this on the Series S, I got to tell you, on the Series S, I was quite impressed. Mm. Like it, it plays super smooth. It looks, you know, like if you didn't have them next to each other, I don't necessarily think if you were walking through the room, you'd tell a difference. Like I was like, wow, look at the little box go. Yeah, you saw the ray tracing on Watch Dogs on the I S, did. right? Yeah, I yep, mean, that was one of the first things I keep telling people. Like, look, this isn't about resolution. This is a 1080p yeah. box for three hundred dollars. I've said 1080p from day one. I've never pitched it at above 1080p. The, most games on that box are running at sixty frames per second, not thirty, from what we've heard with the patches. And you're talking about advanced physics and all this other crap going on, along with higher frame rates. Like, this is a better box. An SSD, you got the uh, velocity architecture, the quick resume. I mean, this is a better box in every sense of the word than the One X was. Or it's got a 120 frames it does. on the thing. It, that's crazy. It's this coming in at the same. People, and there are no games using velocity right now. None. There, it's coming in at the same price as a Switch. Like that's yeah. the thing that really blows my mind. Like, look at the hardware difference and look at the price. Like, I don't know. They they sacrificed something to a voodoo god. Like that's it blew, it blew it Jack away. It, it really did. <laughs> and uh, you know, I've made fun of it because I want all the Ks and all the ray tracing and all the resolution. Like that's and you want that more expensive box. Exactly. That's yeah. why I bought yeah. it. So I bought that. But so 
I was coming in. I think my my expectations were lower. It exceeded my expectations. Ultimately, is what I'm trying to say. Is like once we started playing games on it, I was like, no, this is a very viable option for a yeah. lot of people. It, it's a, it's a very good box. X, you're thinking about 2017's X when you think about the, the modern day Series S for some reason, right? Yeah. But this yeah. is a replacement for the Xbox One S. Yep. Whereas the X and you know coming out obviously yesterday replaces the 2017 X. And that's what you got to really stack them up against. I mean, for three hundred dollars, yeah. man, this thing is—it's a monster console. Different developers will choose to use it differently, in different ways. Uh, I don't know why there's not—you um, know—you got to gotta keep in mind this is day one on probably the most hectic launch in history for developers. Yeah, with uh, the god, the fucking pandemic on top of everything that's happening, uh, and, and that adds adding to that, Microsoft software is running it late, like. Game Core, I know that was on that was on version zero point zero zero one when I was talking to a particular person about this, and and I was like, man, no wonder these developers are saying this is going to be a bottleneck. They don't they don't they don't know the specifics of it, but if I do, they should. Like, I don't feel like they should need a press d- email for to know about this when I know mm-hmm. about it. Yeah. Um, but that that software was coming in hot. The GDKs were apparently again only one game using that, and. That stuff makes a difference, man. So I don't expect to see the power pulled from these boxes for a while. I agree. And that's on top of games not even really being built to leverage, you know, 16 threads right now. Like that's a that's a monster CPU for not a, just not even a $500 box, but a $300 one. Yeah, $300. And you're they, sharing what it's largely identical hardware there. So They haven't even touched what these things can do yet. Like give them a year or two and games start being developed starting at this point it's gonna get nuts yeah. i'm already really impressed with the series consoles load times as they stack up against ps5 digital foundries um and devil may cry special edition stuff i mean showing the gpu and then the frames per second just slightly upticking over ps5 i mean even I mean, with even all the things prepared, dealer said you know. it's still you know <laughs> holding its own if not outperforming the competition right here in day one and that's not an optimized time. I said that yesterday when I saw the PS5 numbers. I was like, whoa, like Capcom have a 120 mode and it's running at 80 frames per second. You know, that's not that's Capcom saying um, we we did what we could. Why? Why we could. And yeah. maybe we'll patch it better. But I mean, at the end of the day, like that game is not going to be well optimized. I can tell you just from looking at how the frames are dropping. There is no reason from an architectural it's all standpoint. Over the place. Yeah, it's not it's not acceptable. I mean, the PlayStation 5 doesn't even have BRR, so there's no way to actually play that game without stutter yeah and the only way you can play without stutter on xbox is with brr which is uh, for one most people don't have that tvs two if you got a capture card you're not going to be able to use that through there uh and three that's just not good optimization you remember when they came out resident evil 3 on the x and they're like well let's make this native 4k and it'll run 40 frames per second and yeah, no. uh, we'll wait a week to patch that even though it's just <laughs> a simple res drop like capcom do stuff like this uh, yeah it is what it is i played that game at launch yep <laughs> they love doing that. And then I was like, I'm going to play this on my PC. <laughs> I'm yeah, done with this. Trash, come out. I feel <laughs> like with, Cap- the with, with Capcom, you have to throw a ton of power at their stuff these days. Like, I'm just like, you know what? Like, I'm going to need my actual video card for your nonsense. I mean, they should just, you know, again, they dropped the res a week later and it ran perfectly. It like, was great. Yeah, I replayed yeah. it that way and it was excellent. So I wish they would just... Now, it's like, it's hard to criticize, though, because this launch, like you said, it's so hot. Like, everything is on fire for everyone. And these mm-hmm. dev- devs are, like, working remotely where they usually would have, like, different accommodations. Everybody's, like... You're 100 percent correct. Strong, like, you know. So. I just got to put it out there because people are. There are people that listen to your show and my show, and and they're they're like, well, why why are these frames dropping everywhere? Like, True. there's no what's going on, and and I have to once again explain. Like, look, it's a pandemic. It sounds like damage control. You, there's a common denominator here, though. You can believe what yeah. you want, uh, and you know they they threw these games together uh, to get them running, and largely the vast majority they're going to be phenomenal, but. None of them are using velocity. They're just kind of throwing some extra effects in there, some ray tracing on some of these games. And that was another thing. Ray tracing was supposed to be there at launch. Yep. Uh, I mean, yeah. so that's great that they managed to get that in there as well. Devil May Cry's got it. Call of Duty's got it. Watch Dogs got it. Uh, and I think ray tracing plus a higher frame rate like Call of Duty's going to have here. What is that, tomorrow? Tomorrow. I don't know. Tomorrow. It's tomorrow. tomorrow. I think, uh, I think and, and by the way, if you checked your downloads, um, Donnie, you can actually uninstall the ray tracing data. Like, there's separate downloads. You can uninstall the multiplayer, single player, ray tracing data, high really? res textures. Ooh. I That's mean, fascinating. You can just play it without ray tracing that way. I don't, I don't know. Okay. And lock it out from re downloading it. That's actually really fascinating that they have broken so, that out you know, as a separate chunk you know, of data. If there's That's too much Vaseline, just uninstall it. You know? <laughs> 
<laughs> it's a bit much. I, I'm looking forward to seeing a, a, a more timid uh, deployment. I guess it's, uh, it's not game. name brand Vaseline. So You're like that I'm, one's too much. I need. I'm over here rambling, but yeah, go ahead. I mean, it's just a lot, man. Developers yeah. are, they're doing a hell of a job, but yeah, clearly not only is this stuff not maxing out the box, but some of them yeah. aren't even optimized that great. I still think this launch, and I want I want your opinion on this. I mean, we've been through a lot of console launches in our days. Like, I still think this launch is a pretty damn good launch. When you look oh, back yeah. at all the games like that we've had for launches in the past, like do you remember the 360? It's like we didn't even get Oblivion until you know, weeks what, later. What so party was there day one? Do you remember? <sighs> I really, it's hard. I would need a list. Of you forgot. I'm just my, it's the, I don't remember. <laughs> it's I the don't old remember. age setting. And, but like, there's a lot of stuff to play on this box. And I mean, you can make the argument like, Oh, but the games play on the past box. Yeah, they do. That's a good Not, thing, by the way. Yeah. yeah that's I a good so thing. Too. But they also play better I mean, on the new box too. I mean, Correct. it is, is factually a great thing. And that's something that people have not spent enough time talking about. Yep. is uh, traditionally when a new console generation comes out, I can't talk to my, any of my friends that didn't make the leap. These yep. things were very rare because, again, don't count on Microsoft winning MPD. They did not. They they purposely spread their supply out over mm-hmm. several territories. Bill talked about this today. And we had said this weeks ago, that's what we heard. They were not focusing on the states like Sony are. And as a result, you know, hey, you got people that are going to be able to get them more across the globe, but Xbox is not winning MPD. They could not. They didn't put it up here. They could have sold several times more, I would imagine. But again, you know, traditionally you'd be stuck from, you wouldn't be able to talk to little Billy because Billy's still in a 360 and you got Xbox One and they don't know how to talk. And then your games wouldn't work and you throw all your stuff away. And like the fact that everything comes forward and it will for now on, like PC, come forward and scale up. That's how it works. That's We're on X86 once again. You know, that's a great thing. I can keep yeah. all my games. Not only that, they run better. They work better. They perform better. You saw Witcher 3. You saw some of these other games. Yeah. Auto HDR is a game changer for these old games. Yep. And then I get all these new games that get upgraded on this box that is really well-rounded, Donnie. What are your thoughts about this box right now? Oh, I want to talk about there's stuff coming with you because it's actually paying extreme dividends for me, man. My my controller broke last night. Um, (laughs) You're you're going hard. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, we my, teased him about that. Like, wow, man, really going to war. Like, uh, it's like too much ray tracing. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the uh, the right stick. I went to go press it in to do the scanning. You have to hold it to scan in in Valhalla, mm-hmm. and it, it it I clicked it, and it didn't pop back. It didn't click back, uh, so it just went. That's down gonna and happen to me. It just stuck there, and now it's just kind of like I can pull it out and keep using it, but it's stuck. And I I'm trying, and this paints to your point, Elaine. <laughs> I'm trying to get in touch with Xbox and I can't. Like they are swamped. I can't get support. I can't get support online. You I can't were get them on the, the phone. Fuck out of some stuff, huh? <laughs> that's some aggressive scanning. Like I was thinking that too. I'm like, bro, that's not the left stick. Hey, that's hey, the right Cole, stick. Me and Colt was saying the same thing last night, though. Like, hey, man, it's really annoying that I gotta push in and hold the right stick to scan stuff. Like, that's bad. You know, that's... I'm just running around scanning everything. <laughs> that was the just first like, thing our Discord said. Was like, Donnie, what are you doing? It? It's like it wasn't that much. It was just, it's just a misfo- God, a malfunction. Your meat I hands. Like it's gonna, I, I swear, I, I was thinking just earlier, like this is gonna break eventually. Doing this, like, because I'm really pushing this hard, and <laughs> Damn, I do guys. <laughs> like, because you'll see when you play it. Like, seriously, like you push it, but you're not like it, it's not instantaneous. It takes a bit. Oh, like, yeah, a there's two. a delay. And you're like, is this like pushed in enough? And and I guess you get used to it, but it would have been much better. And there might be an option in the controls. I haven't searched them high and low, but to just push it and scan. Toggle. Yeah. yeah. Just click it. Give, give me a mode where I walk around an X-ray vision. Fuck it. I, I think that, uh, oh God, the Batman. The Batman. Yeah, that's thing. the first thing um, I thought of, Batman. The, there's got it. I would check the accessibility settings. I'm actually curious. Like, I don't know. Maybe I don't have godzilla meat hands like you guys do well, see, <laughs> you guys thing, i don't really i think it's just i think i just got you know a controller that had an issue and that's fine and sure. i'm actually being very patient about it and i'll just have to wait for X, xbox to be able to take know, my call a, I, mean, I don't know if it's an issue with a controller i mean you like i said you're just going hard just yeah i could hulk it yeah, that, yeah. that's, that's possible godzilla did yeah uh, but it definitely paid dividends the fact that i have my xbox one controller so i'm not just sitting here and i can't play now i'm like okay well yeah. i will get this fixed but in the meantime Let's just sync another controller and keep playing, which is so what that I'm, was yeah, a I'm new doing. controller that you did that to. Yeah, yeah, brand. This is a brand new controller. I'm seven hours wow. into Valhalla, and yeah, I, I wasn't pressing overly hard. I feel like I did defend myself. I'm gonna be paranoid now. <laughs> and I just, I just pressed it, and it, like, yeah, I just, you know, like, you know that, you know what I'm talking about. You click it, and you feel that pop back. I'm on. Pop first thing I'm doing is I'm checking the options to see if I can change that button for the scanning. Uh, I'm curious if it'll let you do the click instead of the click. Because this hold. controller. 
is godly. It's great. It's, really, it's awesome. Like people are talking about, uh, you know, like shout out to Solid Rev. He's talking about the sticks not being stick, stiff enough. But honestly, you got to feel it. Like the latency, the dead zones, the box combined with the controller because they both reduce latency. Yeah. It's a oh. noticeable difference. And it's something I wasn't even looking for. I forgot all about it. Went in, shot someone in the face and said, whoa, like in Battlefield, right? I noticed instantly. Uh, and yeah, you just got to feel it. It's the and first the fact, thing I noticed with Ori. Broke. Sucks, man. Ori is one of the first games that spun up. And as soon as it spun it up, like I felt, and it's, it's cause here's the thing. It's, it's, it's not like giant flopping, slapping in the face, you know, difference, but it's noticeable, right? It's a oh, noticeable yeah. difference. You will definitely, if you, if you've beaten Ori, you will know a difference four seconds and you'll be like, we tried it on a shooter. Um, no, nope. That, I was that is for Call of Duty. instantly, instantly noticeable to me. And, um, again, like for something that when you pick up a, a controller, the latency is already so low that you don't notice it at all. Right. You're like, yeah, this is playing a game yeah. normal, but then you pick up the controller next to it. looks just like it. <laughs> so it's got some weird bumps on the triggers and you move on that one and you're like, Whoa, this is completely different. Yeah. Like yeah, I yeah. really did notice it. And I, and again, you wouldn't even think there's any, you wouldn't think it's possible to pull that much latency out of the controller. It was I'm nice. Excited. I'm excited. I can back this I'm up excited. 100%, Elaine. Like, oh, man. The I'm entire really excited. experience, I feel all the games that I played, every one that I booted up backwards, forward, you feel so much more in control of what you're doing. Um, that's an experience that I definitely had first hour into it. I was like, wow, this is this is moving just that slightly more accurate than it used to. Mm -hmm. And it So makes for those difference. of you playing out of game mode, you know, hey, your game, your out of game mode experience just got a little better. I was sure. just going to say, like, sometimes I'm real back and forth about on and off with game mode. And I'm like, I do like the reduced latency, but it looks so much prettier with that off. I, so, yeah, it, <laughs> you know it, how it feels. Post-processing comes back. But, I, I mean, I try to tune up the image in game mode as best possible. Man. I do it, too. And, like, yeah. some games I'll switch back and forth because I'm like, I can deal with it being a little bit, like, off and mm -hmm. the post pro just so that I can see it being shinier. You know, I'm like, I'm that person, <laughs> I guess. Like, I need a little help from the TV over here. Let's turn that game mode off. <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> Yeah, usually if I start dying, I'm like, maybe I should turn game mode back on. Uh -huh, it's it's yeah. the TV. It's not me being bad at video games and yep. being old at all. Um, you know what I do want to talk about? I want to talk a little bit about Quick Resume, and I know it's getting beat to death. Uh, hmm. How is it working for? Is it is it working better for you now, dealer? Is it I, know, to death? I don't know. People have been talking about Quick Resume a ton. I um, I feel like they sold it really hard coming in, right? They did. Uh, that feature seems pretty hot out of the box and not working super well for a lot of folks. And I'm kind of mm. curious how where you're at with it, having seen it evolve over the last couple of weeks. Well, the first and foremost, um, multiplayer games don't work with it, really. Yeah, that so, makes sense. For obvious reasons, right? Um, sea of Thieves, uh, Call of Duty. You can come back, but you probably at the very least be kicked out of the lobby. Yeah, sure. So it's pointless. Um, but... Yeah, I'm noticing that it's working with everything I'm playing right now. Oh, that's good. And Jason Ronald did say on Twitter, you know, thousands of games, I think he said, or a thousand of them are. You have to go in and individually make sure that Quick Resume works with all this stuff. So it's only going to get better over time. Everything about this box is only going to get better over time. Yeah. Every single thing. Um, so I would imagine that if it's killing you that hard right now, like for those that are killing Quick Resume, uh, you know, wait a week or two, and and I'm sure your game, unless it's like Destiny, I don't know. Again, it depends on the game, but Valhalla works perfectly. Um, yep. Mm. Everything that I've been playing, like it's weird because I jumped into Arkham Knight like two weeks before I did my game, my Series X review, and then for my review, I jumped back into it to test it out some more with the Auto HDR, and and it was where I left off, and I was like, holy crap, I ain't played this for weeks, like. You know, um, can't yeah. stress that enough. And it holds a lot of games. Like, it, I played a lot over that two weeks. And it, it, Arkham Knight was still there. And that's a big game. So I don't know if that caching depends on the size of the game. How many? Some people have been able to hold five games. Some have held over 12. Yeah. Uh, I think it depends on the titles. And again, over time, that stuff will get better and better. Yep. I Do you wish that there was an indicator if a game was in your quick resume? There is one. And oh. it is in your guide. So if you hit the guide button, it's to the right that I can tell of. Okay. It's a little icon. You know, oh, you nice. go down the list and it says, oh, Battlefield or Battlefield 2K and this and that. And there'll be a little icon on the right. Donnie, have you noticed that when you hit the I guide I was going to ask you, is that the little, like, it's like a little ribbon type thing? It's like a circle I, and like a... Um, 
Let me excited. actually let me turn on my box real quick. I'm curious. I I would love to know. Like it's not because I, 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 I saw an icon the other day when I pulled up my guide and I saw and I thought that's what it meant. I was like, oh, that must mean it's quick resume. Oh, that's good. That's but good I, to know. I didn't take this a picture of it. So quick too. Like this thing. Yeah, that's the up. thing. The thing is, even if it's not in quick resume, it does boot games so fast by what I've seen that it's, it's like a, whatever. It's a line with a. I wish I could show you guys. It's a line with like a controller in the middle of this symbol thing under oh, the cool. line. Oh, cool. Okay. To the right. And I can actually click on that. Let me click on that real quick. Yeah, wow. Deleting all of your data. <laughs> Little, um, no, it says looking. Curious These if it'll like give details. you a list. Well, maybe this is on every game. Never mind. Maybe I'm a fraud. <laughs> maybe there isn't an icon and you're completely right. I put you I on the spot. Be. I didn't I don't have a box. No, I mean, so I, I just, just assume. <laughs> I saw this icon and I've just, I've assumed but every game I click on in this list, like my gray dashboard pop out list, it's it's in quick resume state. So maybe that's nice. why I thought that. Like like Planet Coaster. Let me click on that, which is actually really cool, by the way. I've heard good things about that game and kind of want to buy it. Like I don't have enough. The, uh, just I'm like not getting pass. the quick resume. Option oh, is that here. Game Pass? Maybe that is Game Pass. I don't know, um, but it it looks surprisingly good. Like it looks hmm. really good, and you know it's the planet. It's the it's the theme park building game that we've never gotten this generation. Yeah, it's, it's, it's better than Roller Coaster Tycoon. I remember the original Xbox Roller Coaster Tycoon played the shit out of that. Like it's it's actually really good. But let me see if there's an icon now that I booted it up. No, it's the Crazy. same thing. Valhalla, nothing. I was gonna say I for me, it, it was mostly, it's mostly, it's mostly a surprise. Like, I, I wasn't like actively because you can't see it, right? Because yeah. you can't see which ones are there. So I wasn't actually picking which ones to do. I'm just playing the games that I want to play as I play them. And you mm -hmm. click on it, and you, when it quick resumes, it works. And I've noticed it most of Valhalla because that's the one I'm primarily playing. So it seems like it's always in quick resume. Yep. Um. But yeah, as I've hopped across, one of the cool things that I didn't anticipate um, noticing as much as it works with apps. It's not just games. Oh, I like that. I quick resumed into, um, we were watching the, the AEW pay-per-view. I'm sorry? And the icon popped up at the top right? Quick yeah. Resume? I, I, was, oh, uh, I was watching Bleacher Report live. And I paused the paper the pay per view that we were watching, watching AEW's wrestling event, and we paused it to play a game, and then we came back, and it brought us right back to where we were, paused and everything, just snapped right in. That's Aspen like, like, Wrestling Academy. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, that's the thing though too. Like, it's not really a big deal if you know it's in quick resume, mm -hmm. because one, the games boot up fast as hell now. Yeah. But two, it doesn't take anything away from your system when it is quick resumed. So you're not losing CPU power. You're not losing RAM. It's literally just caching in an already sectioned off part of your SSD. Yeah. I think that's cool. Yeah. I'm here for I'm pretty much just going to leave Tetris effect constantly running in the background of any other game I play. So it's fine. The quick resume <laughs> is my Tetris uh, feature. I think if I anything, it'll take, it'll get, take getting used to, like, uh, I'm not sure if anybody else does, but like closing out your game. Like, don't close I them. do that. Yeah. I am, I'm obsessive about that. It's a very type A personality thing, I think. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, don't, well, Don't done. close your yeah, games. Yeah. Just keep switching and just keep moving to the yeah. next ones. I have to change my attitude. I also... I mostly just ask because, like, there are some games where you're like, I don't want to get to a save point. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. Uh, yeah. that's really what it is, and that's laziness. But you can't guarantee it will quick resume and not crash out. So can I talk about the the, uh, the expansion card for a minute? Oh, yeah. oh, you got one. That's right. Is I did it get one. Boiling hot in the back of your box. No, no of course. I'm no, joking. Stuff, huh? Donnie. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah, got man. everything, and I'm just gonna cry. It's he fine. came with a box. It's shaped like a tangerine. I didn't know what it was for six hours. <laughs> I thought it was a box of tennis balls is one of the most Georgia ass things I've ever heard you say. Wow. Like that's funny. Wow. Like that's really Don funny to getting, me. He's probably got like a PS6 in the back in an <laughs> IKEA furniture box somewhere. No one in New Jersey would order a box of tennis balls. You don't have an Australian shepherd. Like he needs he goes through. Yeah, balls. I have a yeah. I have a German shepherd, but like I just I don't think I've ever thought to buy him both. She ordered a box of landmines for the gym. Well, so the point about it like that is it's a very un, it was an unassuming box. It was in a yeah. white box with no label or anything. And I was like, oh, that's just gotta, it's gotta be out. right. They're not yeah. trying to get that thing stolen. That's right. We don't want to get that ripped off. That's true. Uh, the early real. stuff from Microsoft always looks like it just came out of a dumpster and it mailed to your house. So <laughs> they just want to make sure that you know <laughs> nobody wants to steal this thing. It has some weird stains on it. You're I, shooing the raccoons off the top of it. They're trying to chew through it. Like, yeah. D -d 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 that's mine. So I got this expansion card. And, you know, I've got my external SSD and um, and all that stuff. Um, I, you know, just to say that, 
I, I brought my external SSD. I, I plugged it in. It totally worked. Like everything was there. But when I moved stuff to the internal, right, because I want those upgrades, I want the patches, I clicked on Gears 5 and it was like, yeah, it's time to upgrade. When I upgraded, it had to reinstall the entire game. I've read that from a number of people so far. Yeah. There was one game, I think someone said that Yakuza only pulled a patch. Oh, it was, it was of... completely like 80 gigs. And I'm pretty sure oh, Watch oh Dogs did the same thing. I'm pretty sure Forza did the exact same thing. So Which I... is just it re-downloading the whole game. Yeah. Like it's not a patch. It's like, you literally need this version with this direct. So me bringing my drive and everything didn't didn't really save me any time at all. I'm not going to even bother. I'm just not going to even bother. Just double check and make sure you don't have it installed on both. You might have the old version, the back and pat oh. version on one. And I definitely did that. that with a couple of games. I was Hot cleaning tips. everything up. but And also, you don't need to have some games on the internal. Or the expansion card, as I noted in my review. To get See, to, thieves, to get the, like the, the enhanced Ori. versions, though. Yeah, yeah, really. That's... Yeah, he did. There was one or two games that he noted were like running off of an didn't external matter. drive, but still. I guess Donnie didn't see my review. See, I, haven't, watched, I haven't caught man. that one yet. I uh, no, but I yeah, I mean, I I talked to Jason Ronald about this, and he just acted like nonchalant. I said, "You do realize that our marketing has told us the complete opposite, yeah, right? Yeah. It will not work. And it's only a matter of time for someone figures out, and they're going to be like, Microsoft are trying to push this proprietary stuff on you because they want your money and all this crap. But it turns out that unlike what marketing, still haven't mentioned it, but yeah, see it if these worry, we happy few on uh, probably one oh. or two others you don't need on the internal. Wow. Someone is going to compile a list of those and I will be very appreciative. Mm -hmm. sure There's also another weird icon on some of these games. Um, it's uh, You might notice in your, your games now, if you're looking at them, Donnie, but uh, in your My Games and Apps, some of the games at the bottom right have an arrow to the left and an arrow to the right underneath it. Yeah, I've seen that icon on some people's tweets. Do you know what it is? I have no like, clue. I'm telling I thought you. it was games that didn't need to be internal or SSD card. Oh, that's interesting. I thought because oh. CFDs is the only one that had it and I could play it on the external. Then I was like, okay, maybe it's games that are installed on the external and the internal because but then, you know, it, nothing really right now is locked down for me. I want a punch card that shows all those dumb icons and tells me what they mean. Yeah, just yeah, give me a landing page, please. Icons, right? Don't even we'll use a logo art. Just give her all the icons on top of the stuff. Just Let just give me a web page that I can print out and put by my TV because I'm the too web old page. To like, Just map the share button in the Minor Games and app to bring up a legend that tells yes. you what all these that, dumb That's a good idea. That would be great. <laughs> Do you remember yelling at your uh, the, the Kinect to like, snap that? When it oh, first, God. it's like that. I want that feature, but with the share button, okay? Not mm. yelling at a connect. Sure. Don't worry, people will get nervous. You can still yell at it. it I do. The expansion yeah. card gave me an added benefit that I wasn't anticipating um, using. So, like I said, Jack has the S. The S runs out of memory like that. <laughs> <laughs> like it, it's the Encyclopedia Britannica doesn't yeah. have enough storage space. So. You put you put a couple of games on it and it's gone. So I was re-downloading some games for Jack on his console, and then my expansion card came, and then it dawned to me. I was like, well, I have those downstairs on my console. I could just transfer them to this and then just give you the card and plug them in. So we're putting all of the games that we both want to play and share across console on the expansion card, and then when he wants to play it, he just comes and gets the card, just like he would if he was getting the game, like a cartridge. And he plugs into his console, and boom, he's ready to go, and he's playing. The transfer speeds... From at least my my SSD, my SATA SSD to the internal and back and forth, are insane, Elaine. I'm sorry, I moved entire terabytes of data in like 20 minutes. That's okay. <laughs> terabytes. You sound, you sound like the crazy neighbor who's trying to sell me something, and you are trying to sell me something. Oh, but I've had. Plus, you said insane, Elaine. Um, I moved I've the had Master that. Chief collection in like two minutes. I've the had entire that thing. In my part. thing. I've had that thing in my cart at least once or twice in the last couple of days. I've got one on the way. Um, not only that, but even if you have like an external T5 SSD, right? I got two of them. Uh, games transfer really quick on those things as well. It really so not makes even the, the internal cold, card. It really makes the cold storage option a reality because it's yeah. it's it's so fast. <sighs> fine i'm gonna buy it i i'm like so stupid to like try to pretend that i'm not gonna buy that card i'm gonna get like two weeks in and i'm gonna be like ooh shiny and it's gonna show up like, i know i want an activision game i'm out of space yeah that, i was just gonna say call of duty is gonna be the game that kicks me over because i'm gonna be like son of a and then it's gonna go in the cart and my husband's gonna see another box show up and i'm gonna go uh don't worry about it just 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 well, don't worry about you it. know it's it launch day and the servers were were slammed and the services were slammed and and it was nice because like him downloading games was taking forever. And then uh, I just came downstairs and, uh, you know, he, he got WWE and, he, and uh, Halo Master Chief Collection and Madden, all these games I already had. And we moved them over in like four seconds, plopped the card in. He's good to go. 
you've reinstated my college experience of trading like CDs for Diablo around. But here's the something form. else too. You can think about like, yeah, buy an expansion SSD card, and that's enough to where you could have just gotten another X instead yeah. of S. Yep. Yeah, if you're getting an S and the card, you get the 500 just, more gigs plus a lot more power. Though. You get the beefy boy. Yeah. yeah. But you know, hey, um, I knew that, and I still got one plus. You did it anyway. Yeah. You did the same. I did the same. You I, want both, you know? Yeah, I, I want to play with yes. I wanted to see what it was like. I also thought it was the best console for him, and I was already getting the expansion card yeah. for me because I I'm yeah. Yeah, that was dealer, for me. Shit. I have ridiculous amount. I have got a I've got a hard disk drive. I've got an external SSD. Like I, I like having all of my games locally. All He's of a them. hoarder. He's a digital kind hoarder. Of. It's kind of it's true. I almost bought an S for one of my kids, but I'm gonna just give them an old one S and then the, the <laughs> one X. They only give play them an four. Old stick to play with. I they changed play... my mind about the S. Yeah, they're still <laughs> playing. Stick. I told an old stick. I like to send them out back with a couple. I was gonna of get them Xbox Series S, but I decided no. to get a pile of garbage and Here's stick. what I said. I said, you know, I'm gonna buy a box of tennis balls. They're kids. They'll know what to do with that, right? Uh, they open it and they, there's an Xbox in there? Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, they play Fortnite and Minecraft. They're fine with the, uh, the older boxes. Mm. They're pumped about that. My son's like, you're going to give me the, the one X? I'm like, yeah, I don't need this anymore. Nice. Yeah. Take it from me. Now nice. shoe, peasant. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of how it feels. My children have the VCRs though right now. Like the oh. original. Yeah, and they're still ticking. The Matrix. The Man, when yeah. you get rid of those, you can put another uh, some bunk beds in there instead or something. Well, I was going to make a little raccoon house out of their shells because clearly like half the neighborhood could live in those boxes. Do you have raccoons or something? You've mentioned them a lot today. I love raccoons. Okay. They're my trash panda friends. It's all good. I've, like, had, I've had a raccoon on my shoulder before. Yeah, was not, that, near, that, not nearly as soft as you would think. I was just going to say, they're kind of pointy, man. <laughs> yeah, just... the softest animal I've ever pet was a skunk. Maybe I, it had a bath, a really good bath. I don't know, but it was probably it was the softest animal I've ever pet. That feels like nature just really snubbing their nose at you. Like the stinkiest animal, also the softest animal. Oh, it was that. It was when I, I yeah, at a natural history museum. So it was, uh, it was descended, but yeah, it was pretty descended cool. Descended skunk. <laughs> I didn't think my Wednesday anyway, evening we're would off go the rails there. here. We're talking about skunks and welcome to my world. That's what we do. Uh, yeah. We do what we want. Okay. Um, let's. I have a couple of questions that we'll dip into from some of our listeners, if that's okay with everybody, kids. Uh, Josh wanted to know now that you have your hands on the console, whichever one. I'll, I'll get there, Josh. Whatever. What are your biggest surprises, good or bad? The things you couldn't grasp without a proper proper physical experience. Out of context quotes from listener questions. That's Where are you at, Donnie? What's what? your like? This is an interesting question or... because this isn't like it's like PC. You know, that's what dealer said. It's it's not uncom it's not new to you. It's not like you get it and you're like, now I have to relearn the UI and where all the menus are and change all the settings. <laughs> right. It's the same thing. But it is so much better. And you can hear somebody tell you that. We had Sean come tell us last week with his review and it was better. Dealer said it's better. Like everybody has said it's better, but until you see it, there are times, and I think you'll appreciate this a lot, Elaine, there are times where I'm outpacing, like, on screen what I'm trying to get to in menus, like, from muscle memory, because yeah. it's that fast. It's, like, just keeping up with it. Um, you just get used to it, and um, it's just better across the board. Like, it, it downloads better. It transfers faster. Like, like we said earlier, it plays the latency and the frame rates. Like, the performance is so much better. Not in just one game that Digital Foundry proves the point with. All games. Like, across the board, you just, like... This whole collection plays faster, it's better. better, it's smoother, it's a more fluid experience. Valhalla is crazy good. It is the Skyrim ready. that I always thought I wanted. I'm so ready. It's that, <laughs> I've been it's, it's, oh, it's so I'm good. Pouting. I you know what I'm excited about? I don't have either box yet. I'm excited about some silence to befall my basement because man. My One X and my PS4 are sure working very Did you hard see my these days. PS4 video. Yeah. Oh my lord! So, it sounded like so, a vacuum trying to play Miles Morales this weekend. I, that's I, one. <laughs> I sold it. I, I saw that you did. <laughs> I you're too one. loud. You're I, so. Old. I was like, I'm done. I, I, this is it. I'm 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 not going to play a game like this. I, I reached so out you just to put some ear muscle on or something. I, mean, I reached bad? out to our, I reached out to our, our PlayStation guy and he was like, you, you just got to put on headphones. I was like, that's your solution. <laughs> you just got to put on headphones. Of course he would do. Let's control it. Like I'm excited I'm about having a little quiet. He's like, that's not the point, Jimmy. I know it's loud. <laughs> My wife was in the other room on a Zoom call when I was trying to play Spider-Man, and she literally paused, turned, and said, can you stop? 
It's like, can you stop vacuuming shit? It's you not know, my fault. Can you stop vacuuming? That's what it sounded really like. <laughs> he, he had a vacuum so on a stick. Loud. He had the PS4 on a stick on you, the ground. Uh, your, yeah. Oh, you should have kept that and put a Dyson sticker on the top. I got a PS5 <laughs> coming to me in a few days, so I do too. Hopefully by early next week, we'll see. But I'm just excited, like from a physical perspective. I don't have my boxes yet. I'm excited for some quiet when I play video games. Yeah. Like no more fans losing their minds. I'm just excited you about can't, a little. Piece. You can't put a ping pong ball on top of this thing. Like there's no air blowing out of it. It's not you can't that cool. Feel it, you know. It's not a science experiment. Also, like. Don't vape into your Xbox. I cannot believe that I opened Twitter an hour and a half ago and saw that tweet from the official Xbox account. And I went, wow, that <laughs> is peak 2020. I quit. <laughs> Close the app. And I'm like, we're done today. No more Twitter for me. The, Xbox, the series Hotbox? <sighs> <sighs> I can't believe you just made that it, joke. It is, kind of, like a, a it is kind of joke. a little uh, It's a little space heater. Uh, you can definitely yeah. tell that it's uh, in your general vicinity, depending on where it's at. I guess, but I mean, it's dead quiet, and yeah, it really uh, is. yeah it's it's a little beast, man. There's been some failures out there from some people. There's been some PS fives that I go out on some people I've I've already seen. Um, it happens every single generation. Yeah, that's uh, hopefully, hopefully Microsoft do right by those people, and um, hopefully they're back in action sooner than later. Yep, that's what yeah. I'm. That's where I'm going with my controller. It's like they'll they'll send me another one. We have a, a guy on the team who just his settings didn't transfer, and he was trying to figure like his downloads weren't working. He kept talking about it, and I was trying to help him, but eventually I was just like, you know, what? I, I don't know what to do, man. It's like try slamming it on the ground. I don't know. I was just like, it's settings. Like, if that's your big complaint, like that's not too bad on a launch day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, with the servers jumping all over the place yeah, too, it's exactly. very possible that when it pulled them down, it just didn't pull everything right. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna boot this thing just up cold and be the like, settings. I'm just that's gonna it. redo it all. Just go yeah. through the no, settings. I mean, mine, it. mine worked perfectly. I mean, mine did I, too. I think most people did. I would just copy yeah. the settings. I mean. Uh, and also, too, if you got a real, you know, 10-bit panel on your TV and stuff, like, seriously, go in there to settings and go into calibrate HDR for this TV yeah. or display or whatever and do that first after you set everything up and before okay. you play anything. Okay. And, I mean, that makes a big difference. Like, I couldn't I couldn't believe the difference. But HDR is better on every single game on Series X because of that. I'm going to do that. I think it's in the One X as it well, is. right? It is. But I never did it because I'm lazy. I didn't and I either. Like, I didn't even know it was there until yeah. like a week or two ago. And I, and I tried it on this thing. I did it on this thing. I was like, holy shit. I, feel like, I, I did all the things. <laughs> I feel so much better that I'm not the only one who's like, whoa, where'd that, where'd that come from? Yeah, oh, they well. added it. They added it kind of like PlayStation has now. I, uh, I just so thought too. it was one of those things where it shows the, the bar and then the yes, different colors. It's like, you too. want me to move, do my TV settings to it? No, like they're great how they are. Uh, but no, yeah. it's an actual system level uh, HDR. Okay. Output. All right, fine. I will do it. See, now I will not be lazy because I know it's worth doing. So I appreciate yeah. you. So it's good. All right, Donnie, where else do we want to go here, man? We got so much stuff, but we are, you know, we have time is not. Loads quick. Control is great. Uh, Grabbers are good. What Xbox else? I just knocked three off. Great. It looks great. It looks great. Team looks vertical. Great. Stand it up. Don't get a burn your hand off if you touch don't it. Don't lay the damn uh, thing else? sideways. Don't lay it sideways. Don't vape into it, or don't lay it sideways it. and yeah. vape into you can, it. You can, you can lay it sideways. You can. This is a, this is a. He hates it. He yeah. hates this it. is a oh, me Donnie, thing. Donnie. This is don't our show. To Donnie, don't listen, this is, Donnie. This is an empire doctor dealer. How dare you? Some of us don't have a choice. No, I think mine's going sideways for real because I cleared. I have like a glass entertainment center oh, that's completely no. open don't on the sides. I cleared that out. Do I put my original Xbox away. She's ready. She she did it out of spite, Donnie. I'm gonna. Why? I love you, Elaine's. It is meant. It is meant to be stood up. I'm f- it's not true, Donnie. The beautiful There's monolith, monolith to the side of it. that it is. It's gorgeous the way that it, it is. Just, it does look better standing up, but yeah, um, just, it will go right where your ex went, and that's where I put mine. That's Actually, my plan. here's a little note. Yeah, I just used the cords that, can't, that my ex was already using and plug yep. it right in. Yeah, the power cord especially. I've heard you can just be like, boop. Now, <laughs> HDMI 2.1, yeah, you, you do not need cables. a new TV for this thing. For one, HDMI 2.1... The 120 is uh, that's at 4K. That's the max bandwidth. Yeah, you're not going to play any damn games that are 4K and 120 that are anything you're worried about graphics on. Um, so HDMI 2.2 2.0 can do 1440 120. Yeah, that's my plan. Um, so if you you're not worried about that, you can actually get all those features without even changing out the HDMI cord. Um, and yeah, I mean it's dead quiet. If it's right where your X went, and it's it's nice, man. It's premium. If it, if yours isn't breaking, of course. I mean, mine's I fine hope. though. Mine's fine. And you put it through its paces. You beat the hell out of it over. Yeah, a weeks, so. I, I went swimming with it. I went to the gym with <laughs> it. Like we did everything. I took it on a roller coaster. It was fine. 
It was yeah. a little jumpy, but it was okay. It's nice. It, it's a it's a premium product. It's for those yeah. of you that bought the Xbox One X. That's why I always get blown away if I hear people complain about the One S. What thirty? Well, like what? No, ten eighty p. Yeah. What do you own today? Uh, X. All right. You probably want another one, right? Because. And not on the base model, like this isn't for you. This is three hundred dollars. It's got a SSD, sixteen threads, and all these features, and plus it still plays games better. Like it's a it's a bargain, man. It's I think bargain. that thing is a great deal at three hundred bucks. Like I most I people won't overstate. notice the difference. I cannot overstate how huge of a seller that thing can be if they can flood the market with those consoles, especially at the same price as a Switch. Like they can move so many of those units. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the the one S all digital, one Black yeah. Friday. That that was that console was a a pilot program for the the Series S with no mm-hmm. disc drive. They sold uh, and, a ton of those. It's it's about price, and if you you want this to be your entry model besides X X Cloud, right? Um, then here it is, and it will it's it's able to to not only play games that aren't possible on Xbox One X like Medium and all these other games, right? These next gen versions, but do it with better performance, better graphics, better physics. Mm-hmm. This thing will will live onto the future as long as you're using you know mesh shading and taking advantage of velocity and maximizing you know your memory efficiency there's no bottleneck in this thing like you can always scale pixels down um and i think in the 120 mode on gears 5 it will scale as low as 720p at points but that's 120 frames on a 300 dollars box that when i was telling people this would happen six months ago they were calling me insane this thing will not do 120 frames i bet you it will it's gonna hold it back dealer I'm like, <sighs> I'm blown away by how small that box is too. Like, I still, I nice. want one because I want to. It's, it's like the size of it. One almost, it's of so very camera. close to just being able to slide under my TV bezel. That's how. Oh it, really? Yeah, it's oh, wow. very close. It's maybe a couple centimeters off. I could, I wouldn't even have to put it on a cubby or on the shelf. Ten yeah. seconds with a saw, man. We can get it under there. <laughs> just, just a sander. We don't need yeah, much. Yeah, just shave it down just a little. Buff it down. Just a little. Don't worry. Mm. We'll make the top all black that way. But yeah. you know, like. uh as as it continues on, right? This is launched. It's at two ninety nine. So as the years come by, it could go to forty nine. Yep. It could go one ninety nine. And you That's know crazy. that they're going to do a one terabyte model. Uh, they, they may even like have... a, a Series S Elite. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Or they'll and just replace two, it. Um, you're right. Yeah. yeah. Starting three hundred. And that, the console hadn't been this cheap. It launched since the three sixty back in 05. The base That's... model with no hard drive was three hundred dollars. Right. When they get rolling out with with streaming, X Cloud. Game Pass takes a further hold, and you know we get through a Black Friday or two, and they're one ninety nine. I can't even. That's, that's insane. That's insanity. And they. they it's great. Yeah. It's great for their their pockets, right? But yeah. Yeah. really, when you got X Cloud and on a billion smart devices, they're not even really concerned with it all that much. They got users beyond what a Series S could ever do, right? Yeah. Sign on your phone, your TV. They're bringing a Fire Stick type device. That's um, true. The, their plans go so far above and beyond where anyone else is even prepared to leverage. Like they're the only one prepared to, I said this to Aaron, I think it, like you guys, when we, when we had Greenberg going, we like, I was like, you guys are the only ones. No one else is prepared to leverage gaming on a global scale. Like you guys are. That's true. You got game pass console, PC, X cloud for every device. And your games are cross play, cross save. I mean, on top of really the new low end model, the high end model yep. cross uh, play between the old and the new, at least for now. Like they're offering options, you can play locally or download no else yeah. or stream. You know, this is like a plan that has been half a decade in the making. When they announced that emulator to make your Xbox One think it was a 360, you know, in in 2015, right? Backwards compatibility. There was so much more to that that people understood at the time. Not only did it allow them to bring an older system and its games to a newer architecture or or, or PC machine language. But it, it also freed them from being limited by the physical specifications of the Xbox One to the Xbox series of consoles. PS5 yep. uses hardware back compat. Xbox doesn't. This is how we knew PS5 would have a certain amount of CUs because they have to actually emulate old hardware on physical hardware, not software. Microsoft are not bound by their physical hardware of Xbox One for Series X. And that's why you're able to scale the CUs up and not worry about the compatibility issues and just receive the benefits through software. This is all in their brain five years ago. Yeah. When I was they gonna did say, all this stuff. I mean, they did this work. Crazy. They did the work and set up the, the backbone of this. They've been doing it all along. Like this yep. is their like, you know, bread and butter launch. Like, look, yeah, it looks the same. You can play everything better. And here's our Game Pass launch. And we're just going to keep adding devices that work in this ecosystem. And you don't even have to worry about it. You just pick up the controller, sign in and go. It's yeah. so smart. And the it's most so important part smart. is they got 
a lot more games to add to that equation now too. They do. Yeah, they and haven't seen them show up, but they're coming. Oh, so many games. Mm-hmm. Yep. Facts. I, and, and two, Valhalla looks like the PC version. Like, it's so good. Now, now Ubisoft could have cut the pixels down, like ran it at a reprojection 1440 or whatever, but, and, and raised the more settings. But at the end of the day, again, coming in late, uh, you know, hot, they delayed the game. Like, I can only imagine. And you could think about the Xbox One X for this, but they did with even their first party titles, like Gears 4, 1080p60. Gears 5 came out two years, you know, on the X from day one. It was in mine from day one. And that game ran at double the pixel density. It looked better. had open world hub worlds, right? Like, there's so much more they can do with this, is my point. And uh, yeah. I can't wait for the future because I'm, I'm, I'm really blown away by Valhalla and finally getting that fidelity on a console. This is what I've been asking for. Yeah, I'm on fire. I'm so excited. It's, I'm very it's, excited. It's like the perfect, it's exactly what I was hoping for out of like a launch game, Valhalla. I mean, it's just a, it's like it's a show, it's a showpiece. You're going to be wild by it on your screen, but you're going to be wild by it on, on your controller, how it feels to play. You know, like it feels, dare say, next gen. Like when you play it, you're like, yeah, this is, this is what you upgraded for. It's better. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I've been a big fan of this new, like, setup for Assassin's Creed since Origins, and I, Odyssey I loved. And so I'm excited that everybody has positive things to say, because I was like, oh, holding my breath. Like, oh, God, please don't let this be bad. See, I was I wanted this setting. I wasn't Odyssey super was into great. Odyssey. I wasn't. Fair. Um, but That's this fair. one's got me in a way, and it might it might be the backdrop. I, am, I think I'm more into that type of stuff. But, but at the same time, the menu overhaul, the systems, I think I understand at a, even a basic level sure. way more than I did with Odyssey. So in a lot of that, I see a lot of refinement, a lot of quality of life improvement that way. And um, dude, the, the Skyrim vibes are like, that was no, my I initial, I was in though, five minutes. I was like, ooh, <laughs> I've seen just, this. <laughs> the side missions of, though, I will say like. I, I've heard that they did a yeah. good job of not making those feel like filler. Well, they basically took them out. <laughs> good. <laughs> Like, I don't, I, no, I disagree. Right? Really? Witcher three, like Witcher three is the best RPG ever made. Easily. I agree with you, man. And Odyssey's <laughs> up there. Odyssey, I think, is number two. Odyssey but was. Very Odyssey good. had some side missions, and some of them were actually good. And you would go to a question mark, and you see what it was, and it was that curiosity that drove exploration. You would find a cool side mission, or you would find yeah. a place to explore, or some loot. And this game, they've got beams of light, and you know, every single one of those, uh, you know, kind of what a side quest quote unquote it's not called side quest but that's where you're gonna find them if they exist every one of those beams of light i went to the the mission was just super not worth really going that's to. interesting like that's one, interesting. the last one i, I did i went to a cliff and there I've was a guy a standing there and i had to throw his boxes off the cliff and that was the side mission it's funny because i've read some reviews that have said there are less but they are better later so i wonder if that's the case like the problem that i had with odyssey is there was a lot of there was some good stuff but there was a lot of garbage like a well, lot every of, one like, of these is pretty garbage so far yeah <laughs> no, that's i've only done a handful that's unfortunate they're there i've only done a handful i have wandered off and found you know the little icon and gone to it but yeah like you, you come across somebody and they may have like a little argument and you choose to kill one or you choose to you know throw the other one. yeah or like the ones that i enjoy though are the puzzles you find oh, like yeah. the crypts and stuff like that, and trying to yeah. figure out how to the get gold, in. And the gold stuff. ones, how to get the wealth and yeah, stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those are those are the fun ones for me. I like stuff like that too. I think that it's hard for me because I will hold almost Zelda-ish. every game like that. Yeah, I like that, but I'll hold so many games up against The Witcher that like wrote side quests that sure, were. Sure. Like, yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think it's it's impossible the bar. The bar is to... elevated. Come on, it's CD Projekt Red, a little bitty team. They ain't got fourteen hundred developers. Like, yeah, they it's, can do it. They were... Odyssey did a lot to go that way, and and that's what made Odyssey so much better and great to me. Yeah. Was like, hey, you guys are competing, and that's great. You guys yeah. have some good side quests here, but I think here the thing is, a lot of people don't experience those side quests because they fly right through the mission. Sure. And what Ubisoft did is said, look. We're not trying to waste a bunch of money right now because, you know, Ghost Recon Breakpoint almost took us under by itself. But we will put all the good stories into the main story yeah. instead. But the problem is there is such a thing as kind of forcing a narrative and making something too long. And, you know, I'm not trying to be negative. I'm just, you know, being myself and just saying, like, huh. if people that want to. That's kind of the, the, the luster of something like Cyberpunk or Witcher is, is what's out there. Wow, that's I could fair. have not even done that. Holy crap, it made it that much more special. I think that's true. Red Dead had that too. I did just get off the first island, the snow area. But in my defense, I'm like power level 28 or some shit, 25 already before I even got off there. I did everything. I did almost everything. And I can say that right now, maybe the first area, they don't have the great side quest. Maybe in the next map, they do. Uh, I'll give it that. But uh, from what I've heard, they've kind of limited those bigger stories to to the main story. 
I, I waffle back and forth about that. Like I'm because I really want to invest in that story. I think I'm OK with that. But I'm curious to see how I feel about it when I dig into it, because Odyssey, I definitely burned out. There was so much stuff in it and I played the hell out of that game. But there was so much stuff in it that I did actually miss good side quests that someone would have to tell me to go find. And I don't necessarily want that experience either. But you know what, what I mean? Like, that... on, though? you did what you wanted to do. And then the I guess who that's found fair. It, it's like, mm, that's fair. Look what I found. I do, I do like, I do like those moments. And then they message uh, Elaine, and they're like, "Hey, did you find that one mission where it was way cooler and everything else you did?" And you'd be like, "No, <laughs> no." And like, and man, I, no, you really I'll missed go that. find it. I'll go find it. I'm sorry, but... Donnie. We'll shut up now. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I'm enjoying it. Exciting. I'm excited about the War Viking Lady experience. It's I'm fun. ready here for it. I'm playing. As, I am. I am playing as male Ivor. Are yeah. you? I mean, yeah, this, I, got I'm, for that yeah, I, I have an attachment to their. Like, I said, look. So I was an Xbox drive earlier, and I said, I said, completely sexist thing. When I play as a Viking, oh no, I, I kind of want a beard, you know. Okay, well, give her uh, a beard. Like, I want the fear. I want the the Thor like braided beard, you know, like Viking thing. I was that was, I I okay. think that played a part in me wanting to pick a character. I want I want to be a lady with a sick battle scar on her face because nice. she messed some. Dudes Sean up. shaved her head. Like, it's okay for people to want to be their own gender. Yeah, gear, who cares? Or, My or favorite not, character or from Gears of War is De- Dell. Like I don't give I don't care what they look like, what color anyone is. Sure. Like yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm with What's that. coming out of their mouth? How well we're getting are they right? Um, and Alvor, which I'm pretty sure is a damn blacksmith from Riverwood and Skyrim, uh, came back in Assassin's Creed. And you know what? Like so far, he reminds me of a young Anthony Hopkins, like the way nice. he voice acts. He really does. Nice. Okay. All right. I mean, that's the game that I'm going to put in. That's the one I'm ready to play. That's like, I one. also got Yakuza because I have an attachment to that series. But that, for me, Valhalla might be the game. It's the one. And I'm excited. I'm pumped. Give me my box, Target. <laughs> I'm not mad. I'm fine. Like, we will. When we get it from, um, you know, this one place, we'll send it to you. If I open that box and it's just a box full of tennis balls, I quit the <laughs> whole internet. I will flip over a table and That would be the best troll ever. It. That would be a very good troll. They send it to Donnie's house. He gets my Xbox, but I get Who this. Who keeps sending me all these tennis balls? Uh, <laughs> someone someday is going to send me a box of tennis balls with absolutely no context, and I'm going to lose my mind and think of Donnie and it's a sign from the gods. Oh, yeah, the tennis ball gods. All right, let's... I think... Does anybody else have anything they want to say about this box before we move to a brief news and a couple questions? Gentlemen. It's amazing. Be excited Yay. if you don't have one. And I hopefully have- you have one. I'm gonna have one. Except for Elaine, I'm sorry. You. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I was leaving. really talking to the people listening, but I'm like Elaine looking at her face, like just shrinking to her skull. <laughs> oh God! So I, I see. I like you more because you're willing to mess with me. Like I, I must have a, like. I'm just glad I'm not hosting. I can actually. Yeah, you can mess. Make you mess with me. Say dumb shit. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, everyone got one except for Elaine. I'm sorry. Right. That's fine. That's it fine. Works. You know what? I can. I, I mean, I hope person. you got one, but you didn't. I'm just saying. I hope everyone got one out there. I'm sorry, Elaine didn't. Hopefully, that comes to you know, later. <laughs> to that, pre-orders have been going up a lot more than I was expecting. Yeah, they've seen. I've them. seen some in and outs. Like if I you have. were up at launch night, like at midnight, they were everywhere. Yeah, like one or yep. two each. Yeah. Well, you it's know, interesting. Well, one. Greenberg said this on my show, right? He said that yeah, they did. did sell through pre-order stock, mm-hmm. but. They did not sell through day one launch stock, or at least most resale tailors did not go ahead and pre-order that off. Yeah, they were holding. So I get, I bet you those guys uh, took some of their launch stock and they said, you know, what, we'll go ahead and just put them up online. Yeah, it's and interesting because the Microsoft store put a bunch up, and people were getting like delivery dates of like twelve twenty two for those. So like into December for that second run that went up on launch night. So I think it's in- going to be interesting to see when they actually get those boxes to people. You know, I'll cry in the corner with the people who are still waiting. It'll be fine. <laughs> I can't wait for you to join us. Just know that you'll have the you know the ray tracing version of Watch Dogs. You don't have to suffer through it crashing and all that. Oh, I got. I'm my, not gonna. I got the themes update today, and oh, the you insider have actual bands, animated so, themes. Yeah, I got now? the dynamic themes and can change all the different patterns and stuff. I'm waiting for that to come out. Look at you, so special. Right. <laughs> all right, let's talk briefly about Game Pass because what, what, we cannot have a podcast episode without talking Game about Pass Game Pass podcast. So EA Play hit console Game Pass sure. on launch day. And they add, they're adding one of the Star Wars games, Jedi Fallen Order. Yep. Good. Did it right. Nailed it. Nailed but it. they haven't put one of the Star Wars games, but they haven't put EA Play on PC Game Pass yet. And apparently that's happening December 15th. Correct. What? Why? What? Why? Why so long? Let's give you an why? incentive to, to, you know, to, to buy, buy, buy an Xbox. The box that you can't buy? Yeah, <laughs> like, exactly. I, I don't know. I don't come know. On. Probably because they already have people 
you know, invested into the PC eco, you know, ecosystem fair. with their own stuff. Um, yeah. I really like that. And not that this was ever, I never thought that this would never be the case, but when it was announced, I remember vividly talking to uh, Dev on Game Tech where he was telling me he thought that there would be like different launchers and different stuff for this EA stuff. And I was like, no, no, it's all going to be built right into Game Pass. And it is. You don't have to go to the EA Access app or Good. anything like that. It's just a part of Game Pass. Like everything else is a part of Game Pass on your phone. Everything, it's just all the same. It's already a little bit of a questionable app on PC. I'm not going to sit here and exactly. lie. Exactly. But... I, I thought it was crazy that he even <laughs> thought that, but I'm happy to report that that was incorrect. <laughs> yeah. So they're adding more games to Game Pass because that's what they do. Tetris Effect is apparently on Game Pass. I think it's interesting that Final Fantasy VII Remastered is on Game Pass this week. That's a kind of a wild one. Streets of Rogue, which I really like. Halo 4 is coming that's to the a, Master like the Chief old Collection. Remaster. It's all a ploy, yes. to, it's all all a ploy to get people to, you know... Yeah. Was this on PC or you said it was on PC, right? So the, sorry, I cut out for a second. The EA Play is coming to PC on the fifteenth. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But it's coming. To, it's on console now, right? It's on yeah, console it now. hit console yeah. on launch. Yeah, which is and, great. And again, like Phil had said, that like pretty much like, hey, we ain't got no launch games, but we have Game Pass and there's some cool stuff in there. There's an insane amount. So when you click open Game Pass now, there is tiles and tiles and tiles of stuff to go through. <laughs> like there's an there insane again. library. Jedi Fallen Order and the performance mode on Series X. Live I've 60 heard, fps pretty much uh, like that's good to hear especially for what is essentially a dark souls like type of game like those frames actually are kind of it's, sometimes it's, important. it's a good game it's a really i've heard well it's good. good it's from the creative director of god of war 3 a great game and I, uh I man he, he did a great job i'm excited uh the tetris effect connected or whatever they're calling this version of it is also on their planet coaster this is all for um console i don't know if these are on planet coaster is on there huh yep. yep apparently and gears tactics which i haven't had a chance to i didn't dabble it up with. either I started doing, I didn't do that one and I didn't do Horizon um, or Forza because I started playing Valhalla. You really have just been playing Valhalla. <laughs> yeah, That's I started playing just, Valhalla and I was like, this is what I'm doing now. I'm just going to do yeah. this instead. For I'll you talk to you guys later. I'm playing Valhalla for five for, days. For both of you to say that that's the game that you've been latched on to for this long makes me really excited. I mean, I'm, I'm like, playing oh. like, it, I, like, I have to stress it to people listening. Like, and I know you're ready to like scroll through this damn list. I can see it ah, in your face. Good. I'm just saying that, um, like, seriously, <laughs> do not skip past Gears 5. Oh, yeah. Do not skip past Horizon 4. Even Sea of Trash runs at 60 frames per second. It looks amazing. HDR is still unrivaled, in my opinion. Like, that game looks really good. Um, and just look at what they've done with Horizon 4 at 4K60 or whatever it is with all these PC settings they've added to. Oh, you can like, go into, like... No, like, like, they literally ramped the PC settings up, it saved it, copy, save, file as Xbox Series, and then, boom, you're like... The game looks amazing. And uh, you, sh you guys should definitely check out Horizon 4 Gears again. And look at those settings they've added if you're on a good 4K display. I did play Gears I, 5 for Extra Life. I, I hopped in with our Extra Life crew and I played Gears 5. They made me play as uh, I played as Jackbot. For, how many uh, crews you got? Two, Donnie, two shit. S. You're on a biker Damn. gang and uh, how many crews are you on? Oh, you big, all of them. We got a big team. All of them. He has <laughs> Man, so many I friends. More I don't, he has so many friends. I, uh, I'm really excited to play Horizon 4. I actually played that game on PC via game pass because it was like they ran better <laughs> so i'm excited to see the pc settings come over to mm -hmm. my big tv yeah, where i can sit there and the big one i'm up the big boy yeah i'm excited i'm just happy to be here i'm gonna call out sick for the afternoon tomorrow and everybody <laughs> at work is gonna get real nervous because when you do that right now people freak out and i'm like no i'm I promise. Sick, I'm, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. I not, just got this Xbox. It's not Rona. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah, I have to tell people at work that now because I'm like, I just, I have a mic. Like just, uh, just tell know? them like, hey, look, I'm a, li I'm a lying piece of shit. I'm yeah, playing look, games. I got to use these six hours, bro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like yeah. I got to use them, and uh, I got this Xbox. So what I'm saying is the season. I want to yeah. plug River City Girls. I love it. Oh, and that's a good game. I also want to plug Halo Four. Remember, Elaine? I wanted to play Halo Four. Um, I saw Nibel posting screenshots of it i had never played it and uh you you know my history dealer doesn't my history with the halo franchise overall it's kind of hit miss like i played i like it but i'm not like overly infatuated or enamored Same. with the series um i love halo 4 played for the first four chapters i'm through four chapters i played it and through four chapters i feel confident in saying that i already think it's my favorite halo experience that i've played to date i beat one two three reach and I played about half of ODST. Let me, and I, let me ask I like you a question four though, you way more than all of those. Let me ask you a question real quick. Are you a big fan? Like when you're in an elevator in real life, do you just want to push all the buttons? 
there's a part of me. You have a little urge to push all the buttons. There's an urge, yeah. There's an urge. All right, now, now, this is why you like Halo Four because that's all you fucking do in that game is push buttons over and over. He's not wrong. By the end of it, Master Chief has an L-shaped finger because you just took an L playing this damn game. For twenty hours pushing buttons. That's all Master Chief does in every every level. Push I like the style and like the the epicness of the, like the space war combat and all the big ships and everything. I feel like it's um, yeah. it's kind of like a Starship Troopers thing. And I was on the Xbox Drive earlier, and Ryan told me that a lot of the devs that worked on this for three four three when it was developed came from Retro and they worked on Metroid Prime, and that makes that sense. that kind of makes sense. When he told me that, I was like, yeah, I think that it's just a style. I think it's like playing. I played it on Series X. It looks great what they've done with it in the Master Chief Collection, <laughs> mm-hmm. playing on Series X. It looks fantastic. I would argue, and this is just a stylistic opinion. I'm not arguing that Uh-oh. it runs better. It looks better than Halo 5. Like, stylistically, what they've done with the design of, of the, the visuals, I'm like, I prefer that more than Halo 5. But you got to give like Halo the- 5 this, though, right? Halo 5 is all real time, meaning cinematics, everything. Yeah. It's all real time. It's actually not pre-rendered. But, uh, and Halo 4, you couldn't, none of that stuff is actually being done sure. on your system using the hardware. I don't, I don't think I like either of those games <laughs> at all. I'm, no, I really she just don't both of for us. different reasons, but I don't think I like either reach and ODST are amongst my favorite Halo games. I think I have the best, um, personal history with three. Cause I stayed up like all night playing that with the same crew straight through, sure. but like four and five, I was like, you know. I think I'm good. Just <laughs> missed the mark. Two, two, after playing two again with the blur cinematics, I, that was epic. Yeah. Like, it was really epic. I, I've done it like within the last year, I think, maybe a year and a half. That was so epic compared to the other Halo games, in my opinion, and really anything Microsoft had put out in years uh, up until Gears 5. And just watching that back, the, the story, the production value of those blur cut scenes, though not in real time, looked so amazing. And Halo 2 was just a great game playing it back and, and checking that story out. I think that one's got it for me. Halo 2 makes me happier when I can immediately play Halo 3 after it. Mm. Halo 2, at the time it released, <laughs> when I got to the end, I was like, I'm come on, man. Yep, see you later. <laughs> just what? flip the table over and walk out for the next four years or however long it's going to take. But yeah. I don't, I do not hate Halo at 2. At least it didn't think- come back looking like Craig with no textures on his forehead. Craig. You know, so I said this before, when Domino's is talking shit, it's a problem. Yeah, like, it's... like, you gotta, you better Ooh. fix some shit, put Craig back in the oven, let him, put him back in the bushes. He's Craig in the background licking coals and stuff. He's spreading, you know, he's doing all the stuff he shouldn't be doing. Oh, poor Craig. They better have a Craig edition of that game when it finally I comes w- I wish for a before and after. Like, that would be you know the, You know when you can get... Uh, those action figures you can pop the heads off of and put a different face on. I want before Craig and then after Craig. That'd be good. That's what I want. I want one of those. All right. We got a couple of listener questions. Let's run through a few of these. And then I think we'll wrap it up because we've talked about this box to death and I just need to go cry for a few hours after it. So it's <laughs> fine. And you might cry time. Okay. I have, we all do. I said, 2020, aside 2020 is trash. 2020 is the set aside the crying time every day. Sure. Yes, the crying year. Time. This is my crying room. But mom, it's the bathroom. This is my crying room today. Mm. Uh, let's see. How will the mainstream, this is from Chris, how will the mainstream look at the Series X and S going into next holiday, do you guys think? Taylor, it might be a better question for you if you've got any yeah. ideas on the road. The mainstream roadmap. looks at a lot of stuff stupid as fuck, so I can't guarantee <laughs> you anything. Um, they were the ones pushing this will hold things back, not understanding that, that game design is what gets held back, not visuals. We're all more on the same PC machine language now that makes your 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 gtx 1050 uh work and scale graphics down compared to your rtx 3090 yeah. right yeah it's the same exact machine language visual scale game design doesn't meaning batman on arkham origins only flew as quick as he did because the disc read speed on xbox 360 was only that fast arkham knight he's flying all over the place like a crackhead because hey guess what a 5400 rpm hard drive is much faster yeah. than what a disc can read things at. And that's why discs don't actually spin in your Xbox One or your Series X today. They install, they act as a key to unlock the data on the hard drive. That's game design, right? CPU, storage-related items, and um, that other stuff scales quite easily. Now, on x86, again, one example of what these guys have run with and tried to spin. And uh, I don't know what they'll look at and how they'll look at it. But I will say that I expect things to get better. I expect things to 
really blow people away. This generation is the biggest leap in the history of generations when it comes to the overall balance and, and really the things that we're getting that you don't even really need to have amazing gaming experiences. All these games ever made up to this point, every single one of them, complete finished games that have come out, have not needed anywhere near an SSD to actually work. Yeah. All of them have not needed 16 threads to, to work. We have not only what we need, but we have above what we need. We have ray tracing hardware in these damn boxes. That's nuts to me with the size. We of them. are above and beyond the minimum of, of really the, the we're, we're not barely limbo and we don't broke our backs and our legs and we're like a foot <laughs> below the limbo bar. Like we're really crushing this, this, this generation when it comes to balance and per performance. Right. And I expect those high end PC features to scale down to these boxes. Like we've seen with watchdogs and ray tracing on a $300 box. Yeah. Uh, the media and, and the mainstream, hopefully, they understand a little better. Um, I think it's going to take it's going to take games proving that, and that's where I, I that's where I, my head goes with this question is by holiday next year, we hope Halo's out. <laughs> like I think I yeah. we think it is, hope but, so. but it I, should. I think the mainstream's thoughts towards Series X and S console will go as far as Halo goes because until further notice, that's all we know. We can expect I don't, anywhere I don't know, man, because then, right? look at look at <laughs> look at Doom Eternal, look at Valhalla, look True. at Red Dead, look True. at Metro. There are games I you play on your Xbox One X that crush Halo and visuals. Absolutely, Halo's visuals have nothing to do with the hardware. It has everything to do with two or three creative directors, yeah. bad management, a bad plan. Who knows what story? By the way, that story is built over time and supposed to be implemented over time. Not a fan of that. It's never once worked out well. Okay. And hopefully this time gives them a chance to fix what, they, what they've done wrong and how they've gone wrong. To my knowledge, they just didn't know what shape this is in because there were certain people hiding things there. And that seems crazy because it is crazy. Um, but yeah, the visuals and, and really how people judge this hardware should have nothing to do with Halo, in my opinion. These games already look better than Halo on day one in, in several cases, in my opinion, and even on last-gen hardware. Um, I think that the games will tell the story, but Phil said this in an interview today, I think. Um, yeah, those games, when they show up, they all act as more of a benchmark versus their competitor yeah. because right now there's no software that really maxes out the box or begins to. So we will see, but if you want a better overall, overall experience, as Donnie and I have uh, spoken about, is, um, you, know, you, you know, I won't mention, you know, <laughs> the other party in the room that may or may not have one yet. It's, uh, it's but, fine. Yeah, as we've talked about, this is a better place to play games, and it's only going to get better. And if you got yeah. the cash and, and you want better performance, like, really, that the media should think of it as a graphics card upgrade and, and praise the fact that it is flexible, versatile, carries across your purchases, gives you all these automatic benefits while not walling you off. Does it with yeah, ease. There's no negative to this at all. Yeah, it does it with ease. You don't have to jump through hoops or anything like that. You have to sign up yep. accounts and all that. It just does. Um, I just I was thinking more from, a, you know, like, most often these consoles get attached very, very tightly to their first party releases. And between now and next Christmas, I think the only thing that we're expecting are Psychonauts and Halo. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I don't know if they're factoring in the Bethesda guys though. Like that's, Wolfenstein that's, that's, 2, that's one. one of the best games of the generation, the best of 2017, in my opinion, came out in 20, 2017, three years ago. Yeah. It's about time for machine games. I, their next project but you know this is a retooling period as we've seen with forza and all these other games yep maybe they're retooling building up for a new engine or something i don't know hopefully they got more with twenty thousand studios now Good god point. yeah they have so yep. many bodies bodies um good point though donnie yeah i think my, from my point of view if we take software out i think it'll be interesting to see how the balance of how they push the s versus the x will be in a holiday do they drop that console by 50 bucks on Black Friday just because they can and sell a ton of those units? If because Game a Pass lot of keeps people, growing. that's the thing. If Game Pass keeps going growing, that's a really good sell, especially if they start to actually put a 30 day code in the box by then or a yeah. bundle to get it just into more people's hands. And then they can figure out where they want to play games from there. But a $250 box a month, a Game Pass for Black Friday in a year would be very compelling just to like that would be a great story for the yep. holiday. Like, every kid. Point. Yeah. Every kid would want one of those. So, uh, I think they're a little more willing to compromise on the hardware because yeah. the hardware doesn't really make them any money. As a matter of fact, sometimes they lose money, right? A yep. hundred people think you got to sell boxes, you won't make no, they, they don't make money on the they break even. Yeah, best usually. they break even over and, and five the games years. Are, the games are the thing that they make the yeah. money on the games that are gas to the car that you bought, which is a console. 
And uh, you're right. If they can get a, if they can get people discovering what Game Pass is, it's part of their secret so far. Fifteen million strong already. Right. This is what's done it. Let's say in a year, you can say to somebody in the store, "This thing is two fifty. You get a month of this service to check it out and look at the size of it. You can stick this in any room in the house, and it won't be a big, a, you know, obstructive nightmare." Like, <laughs> like, it's compelling. And I think in a year, if they if they can get enough hardware there to to do that, that would be like a great sell. I bought so, my sister an Xbox One X last Black Friday, and when I told her what Game Pass was. And explained to her, you can download these and play these as much as you want, just as long as you, you know, when they put that gun to your head for the $10 bill, just give it to them, do whatever they say. Yeah. Um, she was like, huh? I was like, yeah, like like Netflix. Yeah. And it like blew her face off of her skull and it stuck <laughs> to the wall like baloney. You know, it's like, crazy. Yeah. It's a weird concept, but people have grasped quite quickly that it's yep. much cheaper for 10 bucks a month instead of buying little Billy 50 games that he's asking for. Go download something on Game Pass. Hopefully our internet cap doesn't exist. You know? yeah, yeah. I'm lucky to not have one still. I know other people do have them, but like it's, I could see in a year that being the story because that's the most compelling story of this hardware. They don't really care if you buy the X or you play game pass on PC, but that S is a really good way for them to get, to push those subscriber numbers even higher. Mm -hmm. I mean, before they have a streaming stick or, you know, the phone stuff is they really provide solid. the option and you just, yeah. yeah customer responds or they don't. Yeah, and then they could you could say in a year, well, I don't need an Xbox anymore. I could do this on my phone, but they've sold you in on the service, and I think that's what they really care about. Yep. So, Donnie, do we have any chat questions that we want to hit on our way out the I door? I have tried my best to follow as many as I could, but I don't think so. A lot of folks right. are just talking about uh, velocity architecture. A lot of people do. They want to know what is that one game that you were talking about is using um, Xbox's new game design kit. Mm, there may or may not be an article out on it uh, sooner or later. Okay. So I'm not gonna take Stay anything. Tuned, kids. Good point. Uh, I'm not gonna take anything away. And plus, um, I need to double check on one thing before I say anything about it. But yeah, using the new GDK um, came in hot. So that's I'm not surprised. Pandemic first show, first show I've talked about that on, by the way. So. Oh. thank you. And, I've I, been, and I mentioned that in my next video. As I've been mentioning, um, you've been dropping those hints on RDX for a while now. I, I keep mentioning when people are asking where features and things are. I'm like, they're you know that they they waited on RDNA two. They've got this the the developer kits. They're they're being worked on. It's I think it's yeah. We said it's coming in hot. We say it's, it's always coming pay, in hot, right? But it's, it's coming in more yeah. hot than people are realizing or wanting to give it credit. Look, look, the Xbox One launched with no damn friends list notifications. All right, like it was I, really it was that a, thing was on fire. Correct. Um, but this is uh, that's because hey. they had to retool the whole damn thing four months before they launched. That's because yeah, everybody exactly, had a connection. Right? But that's, you know, at the end of the day, like that was there were no friends list notifications. The party system was crushed. Like that's true. everything about that box was pretty rough, and you were cut off. You didn't have any of your stuff come forward. Like yep. the the thing you're you're paying the price on right now is oh the games aren't gonna you know have the performance or rather had the quite the pixel count on day one or the fidelity day one that it could have. And even with that, it's still so powerful that yep. it's doing great and the games look amazing. So it's not really, I, I'd take this any day over, over uh, big major software issues. They're still making the games work. They're still porting them. They're running back compat versions with more features as series X enhanced titles through smart, uh, smart delivery. There's a lot of things that, you know, they're, they're finding ways to do, including the ray tracing and GDK stuff where they're, you know, new development tools, that stuff is coming in hot and you'll get that stuff uh, sooner and later. I have a lot of faith in them just constantly pushing revisions. Like they've done a good job of that, even in their like, sort of, that's what they do and they that's do it really power. well. So yeah, that's what they do get, better than, than their competitors in the marketplaces. You will, you will get that stuff as fast as they can reliably get it to you. They adapt and and sooner they if you're in that preview program. So yep. uh, we'll do one more question because sure. it is 1030 and I'm old. I turn into a pumpkin around 11 o'clock. <laughs> And hang out with my trash panda friends, I guess. Uh, this one's from That Retro Code. If the Series X gets an updated revision in three years, do you think that it is unjust or bound to happen with a powerful console? Ooh, I love that you picked this one. Um, so, dealer, let me let me riff off this one for you. With, with what I've seen, and I feel like this is crazy because we always get revisions and we always will get newer and better things. They've already mentioned that Jason and the team are already working on next ones. But from what I've seen about from the series X so far and knowing what it's not currently doing, 
I don't necessarily think the Series X will need a revision that fast. I feel like it has a lot of runway in it. If there was a revision, I would look, again, I would look towards the S model and maybe doing something with more memory or, or something like that to that one instead of this one. But I would love to hear dealer's thoughts on it. Um, I Bill had spoke on this, uh, and that's why people are... I think it was in the Kotaku interview. He had mentioned something about, are we going to upgrade? Are we thinking about how to get the X, Y, and Z? He didn't specifically say, like, mid-gen upgrades. Uh, as right. a matter of fact, he had said the opposite. But keep in mind, he was also telling everybody that there was only one console. And I was like, no, there's two. I know, <laughs> yeah. I know I've literally talked to people that have uh, done weird things in this box when no one's around. Like, it does exist, and here's the power targets. Uh, and that came out to be accurate. Uh, point is, Phil is probably talking about a slim model of the Series X or some other further revision to the hardware they have today. And that's what he was referring to on like iterative updates because I mean, but here's the, here's the other question, Donnie, what if Sony come out with a pro model in three years, right? Because remember a discless version of a console and a disc based one of a console of the same APU and uh, SOC that there's no development changes there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Whereas if Microsoft come out with another more powerful S or a series X, that's another system you have to develop for. That's another set of, that's more because <laughs> I'm just, I know you got to go to sleep. I'm sorry. I'm no, really sorry. I don't, man, I'm good. I'm it's happy so to be It's so complicated here. <laughs> because there's so much it to is. this. And I um, I would do, be doing the listeners disservice, but I didn't mention like with the Xbox One and the One X, the One S, right? If you remember, they had a different development kit at launch than when they did in 2016, 2017 with the new X, right? Their development kit initially, eventually incorporated all three systems into one box. You push a button, optimize you know, Delta, Delta, Delta. Right. It was it was much easier, much better for, for developers to transfer and port builds. Uh, this is the first time ever where they've got a universal development kit for both of these consoles from day one, which is going to help developers a lot. And I don't think they're going to stop that or, or really create another development kit that needs to be sent out. Or I, don't, I just don't see them making an iterative upgrade. I don't, for one, feel like they need it. But two, why would they put those developers in that same spot again? And three... You know, is that a good or bad thing to some people? Uh, you know, maybe developers don't want to do three systems like they, you know, might have to do. But two, last thing is, what if Sony do come out with a Pro? What if they do have a more powerful model? Because the ones they have now do not need coding differences, just a disk drive. Right. Do, do Microsoft respond? How do they respond? Do they just get destroyed for four years or three years like the Pro did? That's something that Xbox guys are going to have to ask themselves. Are you okay with that? You know, yeah. because that's a possibility. I think that depends largely on where they think their subscription numbers are for Game Pass when that comes around. You know, if that comes around, like, where are we at? Can we withstand two years, three years of a beating on hardware or do we have to? Well, I like, you know, do we I not think, have a choice? I think they really like their moniker of having the most powerful system. I don't think. That's yeah, they do. They yeah, they want to give up. Um, but I also think like it's so hard because, I, you know, who knows what four years from now holds. Right. But what's the next tier? that that you know like a better gpu would get you to you know it would get you to 4k 60 ray tracing i i suggest would that's like that's a tier and then the next tier would be 8k and i don't think we're anywhere close or near you know like that's so far away like that's not a thing so but too with the pro and the x though there was much there was a much you know in terms of like you're talking about 4k 60 plus ray tracing like with the x it, it did like double the pixel density so yeah. for, from 1440 to 4k on a lot of games maybe and then a few extra settings like to a lot of people that wasn't as big a jump as what you just mentioned yeah and so it, it really yeah. depends like i think developers would not really appreciate that and I, I think two is is a lot and um you know i guess we'll have to see but i mean donnie do you think they're going to come out with a ps5 that, to beat the power of series x and take that moniker back i don't think so and the reason that i would say i don't think so is i think they proved with the ps4 pro that it wasn't necessary uh, I don't think PlayStation has to have the most powerful console to sell games to have people. Um, yep. That's that's not their market. I do think Xbox has built a niche off that that appeals to their like a, a core set of their customers that want that to happen. Um, but like they were perfectly. I don't think PlayStation was ever upset that the series that the One X you know was doing native 4K while the Pro was doing checkerboard. They're like we don't care. And that was the other thing I was going to say. I was bringing up DLS and reconstruction and things like that. We're seeing that happen a lot on PC to get games to 4K 60 with ray tracing. They could just bring a lot of that to console as well. 
right? If that development gets there, then you don't need new hardware to do that. You could just do that on the hardware that we have. I think I'm not the 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 hardware savant, but I think that's that's how that could work. Um, so I don't think that's necessary. I, I do agree with Dealer. I think if we have iterations, I think it would be more storage space, more you know, sure. a, a smaller footprint. I could see a one terabyte S or a two terabyte. X or something like that. That's where I would look at for a revision or new models. I don't think we would see a whole, you know, enhanced CPU, enhanced GPU, like, because the 1X, not even a 1X. Like, the, I mean, the 1X, not even an Xbox One. Like, it's like it just, the 1X is basically a whole different console. <laughs> you know, it's yeah, just it very, like it, very different, you know, from the did. other ones. Um, they just kind of bridge the gap with software. Um, yep. So I, I just don't necessarily think that's very needed. And I don't think. I don't think PlayStation has to play that. They won't have to play that card unless they are really being pushed against the wall. I don't think I, Microsoft had to play it because agreed. remember 20, 2017 and up, the S was, was the dominant seller. The S, it's always price really that pushes the volume. But I mean, it was really a thing for morale marketing. Do you think Sony, you know, that's kind of like, I don't think either needed to do it, but I am not getting any bad buys from Series X being the most powerful console right now. And I think, they enjoy that. You know, Sony could do yeah. it. They would. The, the I, brands would too. They were pushing 13 teraflops for eight months, nine months, 10 months. So. I think that Sony has the, those shiny first party games to lean on in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. And they're okay with that. Like that's Microsoft their model. Have more, Alina. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, they have we can have now. this argument. They got we, that 23 studios now. They do now. They didn't. Into, <laughs> See Donnie smiling. He's like, yeah, yeah. wait. Look, you just wait. We've been doing be this. We've been doing this for months. That'll no, be Sony have great about games. Like God of War is one of my favorite games of all time. Like they have great games, but I would argue they that do. Microsoft have more bigger, more quality now they games do. now. Yes, they now do. they do. A hundred percent agree. Like back when the X, the One X, and the the Pro were an issue, were a thing. Yeah, that's that was a different. But then Call of Duty and Fortnite says hi and says, "Oh, only ten percent buy your exclusives anyway." That's we the don't thing. care. We're not here for that. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot of people, I think the other thing to think about is a lot of people aren't going to console swap. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. the, you've invested so much money and time in that ecosystem at this point. A lot of people don't want to play that game anymore. Yeah. So like I, if I was a PS4 player, like, am I really going to start a whole new account on a whole new system just to be like, this is the beefy one. I think. Depends I, on how much of that 99% is playable. Yeah, Cause apparently yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of those back and pack games that are not playable. They got a warning symbol up to them or something. I'm like. real interested to see how that goes. Yeah, uh, I really am. But I think to, to this point about this hardware, like I think this will be interesting to see because we stretched this current generation with these like revisions for seven years. That's a long time. And they stretched it all the way to the max. And I'm curious how far that max is with this generation of hardware. It's is easy it to say it now seven? on day one, but here on right. day one, I feel like we've got a lot of runway. You feel like here. you got tons of gas, but we might get three I didn't in feel that way, though, last gen on day one. Because last gen on day one, I remember reading PC Gamer where they were like, these consoles aren't that great, guys. I do remember reading that, too. But you don't and see I that think... today. PC folks today, like people that are excited about, you know, 3090s and stuff, they're like, hey. Five hundred dollars. That console's pretty, That's pretty good. good, right? You know? But it still comes in in the conversation of for five hundred dollars. You know what I mean? So like, sure. I'm I'm curious to see like how long do we stretch it? Do we go four, five, seven? Like where do where does that line get crossed? And then how does the revision look? Is it just the same form factor with a beefier card in it? This will be fun to watch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, was it? All right, I think that's gonna do it. Before we head out, first of all, dealer, thank you for <laughs> thank you for hanging out, man. You were a blast. You of really course. Were. Anyone who's allowed to go, anyone who's willing to go along with barrel of ferret jokes right from the top of the show is my friend. So. I think they should become the show. I mean, you, you guys yeah. need to pitch the show differently. You yeah, need to pitch it to ferrets going forward. No, I mean, I need a boardroom filled with ferrets. That's what yeah. I mean, I mean it, it was it was fun, and um, honestly, it's been a it's been a crazy week or two, <laughs> and I am just glad this stuff's out and we can play it and. I get so tired of talking about this stuff and yeah, all the man. questions and all the DMs asking me to explain stuff. But at the end of the day, um, I also love it. So it, it gets old. It's like anything. How long have you guys been doing the show? I'm um, new here. Elaine's still. new. We've been doing the Xbox Empire for the better part of three years, but it's it's shuffled a bit. I took over the show about a year ago. Tell me the history of the show. Elaine can get in a snuggie and go to sleep in the background. I'll just curl want. up in a ball. <laughs> take a nap we'll have to no, have you back good. we'll have to have you just back. crawling we'll a barrel it. with ferrets <laughs> I, that's where i go recharge i was gonna say you deserve probably after this week a recharge man a day yeah. of disconnect I'm to finally and I play you games it. you know now Me too. Exactly, right? just play games and quit quit talking about have games out that you can play is number yeah. one yeah, 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 yeah and and two like 
Um, I don't know, man. People act like you can just put tech in the name of a show or talk about it and the show's popular. Like, that's just not how it works. You know, we, we, I think that people show up because they learn things and we don't take it too seriously. True. And you want to have fun with this stuff and build uh, personality and chemistry. And, and there's a billion professional shows out there and you can do <laughs> better numbers without being professional without worrying about either. Just have fun and be yourselves and, and make some jokes and, how did you end up on the show, Ling? I, uh, dude, it was wild. A, 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 a friend fair, carried you to the microphone, or a, a person? Yeah, no, that's what happened. A, a person who knew both of us retweeted Donnie looking for a new host, and uh, can I, can and I, I can was, I can I jump in here a little? Yeah, dealer, you. you you might appreciate this. Uh, the co-host that I had before I needed Elaine to join quit the day that PlayStation announced that all of their games were cross-gen. Because I came on this show and had a very hard, long rant about the team that had been telling me for six months how games are going to be held back by cross-gen support. And, and now they were S. fine with it, right? And he quit. He literally you quit You got to tell show. me who this is now. You got to tell me who this is. He's not going to know. We're not going to do this. I'm not, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> He just quit. He was like, I can't, I can't do this show with you anymore. So I needed a new co-host. Donnie, you're too toxic. And it was a You late. held me up to my hypocrisy. And unfortunately, it worked. <laughs> oh, I didn't I'm say here for this. Joke. I'm I sorry. I don't know who it is, but yeah, it seems kind of. So he tweeted, "I need a new co-host, essentially, or I'm, you know, it was between find a new host or shutter the show." And I saw the tweet and responded, "Man, I miss podcasting." And within 24 hours, I was on. What well, was it? What did you used to podcast on? Took off. <laughs> what did you used to I podcast had, for? I had a show called Some Other Castle, like. 10 years ago and it was mostly like about video games but it was like two friends comedy kind of stuff you like, should have stayed around even a joe rogan in right now yeah no 10 years ago. yeah the game. it was we like 0809 yeah and i i loved doing podcasts i kind of bounced around from a f- couple other shows and i just got exhausted of like you know the whole it was a lot i well, had I got, kids i, I follow donnie yeah. I don't, um message me on twitter so i can follow you maybe we'll have you guys on yeah oh, that'd be great hey yeah, we'd, that'd we'd be rad to. i would yeah. that would be very exciting i'll, I'll um, follow you and message you so. But uh, yeah, I mean, seriously, thanks for having me on. You guys are awesome. Keep up the good work. It's just a grind. And, yeah. you know, just be yourselves. It's not about your guests. It's about the chemistry and the fun that you guys have. And, you know, I can tell you guys got, you already, you already having a little fun here. So that's great. Hey man, this is this, that part we do very well. Yes. <laughs> that sure part do, we do I'm very just, well. You do everything great. Just, uh, oh, you know, trust me, I, I've watched some trash ass podcasts and, you know, this ain't one of them. So you guys uh, just have fun and, and just. Man, that's why people are going to tune in, that, laugh, and learn. So now I feel all warm and fuzzy. I'm going to jump off it. here and uh, go put my Xbox out. It's on fire again. So I'll you go, you, you go later. put the vape juice off, and I'll I'll close the show. I <laughs> got this good. part. It's good to uh, talk to you though, Donnie. Yeah, always. Thanks. We're still Thank live. You, yeah. yeah, we're still live. I'm going to close it out, and then we're done. Don't worry. Okay. I got you. So you got to do outros. Yeah, I got to do an outro. Okay. So thank you again, dealer, for hanging out. And before we sign off, let me give a quick shout out to our Patreon producers because they deserve some love for helping Ooh. support this show. We've got Edwin Callow, Barry Cathcart, Josh Bonesaw Bourbon, Chris McElfrish, Devin Tyus, Kyle Heyman, Paul Calicote, Michael Masick, The Egg Shen, Zach Bradshaw, Nick Fallhaber, Rude Days 93, Rob Emanuel, Ben Moxham, and Grouchy Surge. I didn't forget about you guys. We just shifted you to the end so I can give you your due. And we could <laughs> rant about ferrets in the beginning of the show. So so I think that's going to do it this week, that's Donnie. It. That's it. We've All right. the console. Go play some video games, y'all. That's it. That's what you should be doing right now. Go play some video games and dealer can go recharge. So, yeah. <laughs> thanks, everybody. We will catch you on the next episode. Good night, folks. Bye.